Welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech. What's going down? What's going down? What is going down? Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what time of the week it is. It's your favorite day, man. Favorite time. It's Wednesday, and we're getting this show cracking. This is Noonish, man. I'm your host, J.A., a.k.a. Jonathan Anderson, here to have a great time with you today. We're going to have a wonderful time. What's going down, Unc? You know who it is in the building joining me today. It's my Unc, my favorite Unc, man. <laughs> well, Ronald man. Bowler, what's going down with oh, you, Unc? Nothing, nothing much, man. We got a lot of stuff to talk about and not that long to talk about it because we could go on and on with these oh, yeah. subjects we got. Oh, yeah. But, you know, but I like it like we always do with Father Ado. You know, the first lady of F1, she got some great information. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. And, uh... Looking forward to what she has for us this week. I know. Hi, boys. How are we feeling today? Yeah, we're doing well. We had a great weekend. We had a great weekend, man. You know, I, I know I had a great weekend. You know, got got um, to watch a good do? fight this what weekend. We'll get to it a little bit later on and some good football. You know, a pleasant weekend. You know, I, I wish I'd have won my fantasy game. I know Unc didn't try, but I at least tried. Oh man, uh, yeah, I gotta get Christian McCaffrey out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Last week I shouted out, I don't know if anyone heard me, but I, I called out the number 256.5 and I was like, does anybody, does that ring a bell? It should, because that's the amount of points I scored in fantasy football this last week. Uh, yes, I do. I number remember. Number one, I think. I think I was number one, but do you know who was so close to me, but like just out of literally 255.5 was Jonas. <laughs> wow, Jonas, this week? Jonas doesn't know what he's doing, and he's Two and one. in place. I know. Hey, he's an analytics guy. You know, I'm not surprised that, you know, he's made an adjustment at this point. I'm, pr I'm proud of him because there's been many a game where Jonas just has yeah. four players not playing. Uh, you too. You too, Unc. You need to get your teams together. Yeah, What's get it together. Here? Unc's busy walking six miles. Uh, yeah, Unc, Unc don't care. He last thing he Unc cares about is his fantasy league, you oh, know? Oh, uh, no. I mean, well, you know, I, love, I want the league to be, you know, somebody got to be at the bottom. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Like Just trying to level it out a yeah, little yeah, bit. You know, hey, <laughs> if I was in real football, I'd probably be at the bottom because I wouldn't get these guys all this money. <laughs> to do oh, okay, okay. Well, I appreciate you <clears throat> diversifying the league for us. We do have to have a loser in the team. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, you, you have... Yo, but, you'll come through though. I feel like you, you, sometimes you accidentally win. You, you did that last season. Yeah, he, he got a few. He, he ran into a couple wins. Stone when Cooper <laughs> Cup came back in like week nine. You know, he he stumbled into a few wins there. I think I had four or five wins. Right? <laughs> yeah, it'll be all right. You know. Oh yeah. The league will still be going on. You know everything. Yeah. You know, it's it's just for. It's just for Unc to see you beat up on J.A. That's the best um, play. <laughs> hey, it's all good. It's one of my passions. It's one of my passions. Uh, but I'll humble, I humble myself here. I'll out myself. I'm in another league with my team from in venue, and I'm yes. 0 for 3. Ooh, <laughs> 0 and 3 starting the season. Did you have last pick in that so, league or what? I had the last pick in that oh. league. And I am just getting, there's so many people in it that like, it's super competitive and there's no good available players at any given time. And that's rough having really, last you pick. You get really lucky. Um, yeah, I'm 0 3. It's painful because I used to win. Yeah. I used to be the champion. Now I'm, now I'm having a Red Bull moment. I went from the yeah. top to the bottom, <laughs> all the way to the bottom. Um, but with that said, uh, Formula One had a crazy weekend in Singapore. Uh, it's a hot race, a night race, actually. And um, there's there's not very many night races, but for Singapore, it's so hot and humid there. And I think nighttime's the only place, the only time they can really do it. The drivers lose like two to three kilos or even more kilos. So like 
they can lose five or six pounds in the car while they're driving because it's so muggy and hot. So they're just yeah. sweating through their suits. Um, so it's physically a very demanding race. It's a very fast race. And uh, this weekend, Lando ended up, you guys know how I feel about Lando on pole. To me, it's like, mm, it's a 10% chance he might come through and win the race. Yep. My guy pulled through. He beat Max Verstappen by 20 seconds in this race. Wow. Uh, he kept it together. Yeah, I was really hoping for, I think I had predicted... Actually, I think I predicted this podium, but for two races ago. So yeah, yeah, the Papaya exact Boys podium. and Max to be on the podium. That's exactly what happened. Oscar, Lando, and Max would, would close out the podium here. It's Lewis crazy to see Max happy with a second place finish. You know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Like he's just trying. He's just trying to get up there. He wanted to stand on the stage. It's been so long. He forgot what it felt like. Exactly. It'd be like three yeah, months, think- like a three month drought. He has not won a race. I think this is the seventh race in a row. Maybe yeah. eighth now. Um, and it, oh yeah, he's he's just pleased to be anywhere near the podium. Lately. <laughs> he actually got into some trouble this weekend because um, I mean I I know you guys have heard the radios where they get really excited and they cuss or they you know they're just yelling whether it's good or bad. And the FIA kind of cracked down on them um, on drivers and the teams around using cuss words during the radio and the conferences. He kind of described his car using the F word that it was, you know, terrible. And the FIA was like, well, you can't do that. You need to do community service and contribute back to the community somehow. And there's a lot of like back and forth around drive. I mean, like they're not going to penalize a player on the field of a football, you know, a football field if they're cussing in a huddle. So I don't know. There's just some back and forth on Twitter and other places where fans are like, just let them do what they do. We don't hear it anyway. It's bleeped out by the time it gets to broadcast. Um, but I thought that was kind of funny. Max was being Max in a, a, the press, you know, things that they were doing. And it was kind of funny to see. But yeah, he yeah. He, showed, he showed up. I will say the biggest disappointment of the race, though, was Lewis Hamilton. Classic Mercedes move brought, brought Lewis into pit way too early in this race they split up the the strategies for the tires so lewis started on a different set of tires than than um russell would and so he started off on a soft tire which just um uh falls apart a lot faster especially in that heat so it wasn't a good strategy at all was not a good strategy and i don't know whose idea it was but you could tell it probably wasn't lewis's because he expressed immediate frustration after having to come in really early into the race and pit for the hard hard tires so it threw off his whole his whole strategy, or I guess his whole approach to winning was just down the drain. Um, the track was way too fast. There were no, this is kind of interesting. Normally a safety car will come out because of an accident because it's so fast. Uh, the tires have an interesting grip at this track. Um, teams kind of bank on someone crashing. Not in a bad way. They don't want something bad to happen yeah. to somebody, but they yeah. do I mean... appreciate a safety car to jam things up. Uh, and there was no safety card this entire race. So anyone wow. who was banking on it, anybody who was banking on that happening to get a... Um, These boys playing it too a- safe. They're playing it too safe, man. It's getting like the NFL out there, you know? <laughs> boys not eat, not bumping each other, you know? I know you're not supposed <laughs> to do that anyway, and it's probably not good on the car, but, you know, they're playing yeah. it too safe, man. Is it a, is it a very windy track? But uh, considering you won by 20 seconds, that makes me think that there's some, you know, a, a few... Uh, solid straightaways on that track because they just have a very fast car they it's a combination fast car overtakes are difficult on this track so so starting position and grid position and your pit stop strategies just matter that much more kind of like in monaco right like if you're not starting in in a appropriate place on the grid like likelihood of you winning without something crazy happening is really low so same thing here in singapore um but it's it's uh An interesting race because there was some buzz going into it about what was happening with Daniel Ricciardo, who's the Mm -hmm. RB driver. So the kind of secondary team for Red Bull. And I'd love to toggle to the next topic here. But there was this really quick, I don't, I don't, I was going to try and explain this in like NFL terms or another sport, but to be honest, I've not seen something like this done in a very long time. Dan Ricardo has been a driver. He's a veteran on the, on the, on the grid. He's won not championships, but he's won multiple races. He had a really um, well-known Monaco win. He is a face of formula one. And to me, one of the most commercial drivers on the grid. 
he loves Austin. He loves Texas. I think he has a house in Texas. Like he's a huge advocate for F1 here in the United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, he's Australian, but he still like has this like country boy tied to Texas. I don't know what it is. Um, c- incredibly commercial, very well liked. Um, I've never heard anybody speak negatively about him. And this race, th- there's a lot of buzz going into it that this might be his last race. And like, I've not seen an official announcement anywhere. Like, this has not been teased. I mean, there's a lot of talks about who's going to take that second seat at RB, but yeah, but no one was really saying, hey, Danny's out at Singapore. Um, in fact, I think I talked more about Sergio being replaced before, you know, at Red Bull before somebody like Ricardo. For well, sure. So, Ricardo finishes this race in honestly the last finishing place, but mm. he's highly emotional. Everyone's saying thank you, Daniel, crying on camera. Daniel's crying. And I'm like, no one has, there has yet to be an, an official statement from any of these teams to say, hey, that he's one kicked off of our team or two that we're taking him. Yeah. So it's this very strange goodbye to Daniel in Singapore ahead of his favorite race, which is Austin coming up. And I just have never seen anything like that. Like, Every yeah. driver who's had many years on track and some success gets a goodbye, gets some sort of ceremony, gets any type of acknowledgement. Yep. But I have a bone to pick with Formula One, and whoever's managing PR over at Red Bull and the RB teams, like, you're in trouble with me because this was not the way to say goodbye to one of the most celebrated and in commercial and just in general, like, most positive drivers on the grid for the community, for F1, for the sport. So yeah, just, I mean, like, it sounds like he, he you know, uh, pissed off the wrong person or people or some people that know. he pissed off have know some people in powerful, powerful places. Right. Yeah. And um, he's not getting that preferential treatment that, you know, the typical faces of a sport might get, you know, because at one point he was a pretty well-known cat, you know, and winning races yeah. and pretty competitive. Right. He's pretty competitive. He had a rough couple of years. He's not won a race in a while, but he hasn't also had a super competitive car. There's been a lot of things kind of against him. Um, And I just felt like there was more opportunity to actually replace Sergio Perez in the Red Bull with Danny Ricardo because Sergio hasn't been performing either. If, if Ricardo's it's this easy for them to can him, everybody, everybody who doesn't have a signed deal for next year should be on high alert because I feel like, it was pretty ruthless, like the approach that they, and for somebody, he's really like, I don't know how to describe it, Like he's just sweet. Like he's so nice to everybody on camera. You could tell he was visibly upset. And yep. I just feel like what a fumble for F1 to not use this as an opportunity to actually celebrate him. Let him race in Austin. Like that's, that's the next race. They have a four week break until the American GP or the USGP, which is in Austin at the circuit of the Americas. That's his favorite. Like they almost make it kind of about him. Yeah. So to ask him before that, I mean, I don't even do I even am I gonna boycott the Austin? <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I'm I'm cool with with his uh his counterpart, his former teammate, because he came here to Dallas, right, the, the, for the Red Bull run. So yes, you know, Danny Rick wasn't here in Dallas, so I don't know if I can support <laughs> him like that now. But I know he was one of the the main characters on the Netflix series, right? Like in the first like the first series that, yep. that came out. Uh, in, in one he's of the well episodes known, or some of the episodes. He's well known for encouraging the team principal when he won. Like he said, hey, if I win a race, I want you to get a tattoo. And yeah. so he's actually had multiple team principals get tattoos um, yeah. after after a win. So he's just a personality. He's got a great brand associated with him. And I mean, people just love to watch him race. So I just, I don't know. I, I'm trying to like make a comparison. I don't really know if I have a good one for this, but just imagine like America's sweetheart player just getting shown out through the back door and really not being celebrated or or acknowledged. I've got the, one, the- Barry Bonds. How about that? How about Barry okay. Bonds? Okay, controversial, <laughs> but okay, controversial. But yeah. Okay. Uh, Crazy. Yeah, just being just literally escorted out the back door, no acknowledgement, no ceremony. Like everyone, he was or Des Bryant. Celebrate. We can go with Des Bryant. Okay, Des. Um, who was the Who was the Cowboys player who left and then came back? Zeke. They did like this whole no, no, big white guy <laughs> that doesn't help him. Hmm. This was a couple years ago. They did this whole thing. What is his name? He's now a coach somewhere, like for high school. I don't know. They did this whole thing for this player leaving that 
team was crying everyone was upset he came back the next year he didn't he he didn't totally retire he was like oh I'll come ah back. I yeah i know did. cooper rush did it but i don't know i don't know who else i have no idea uh, i can't remember his name you're gonna, you gonna make me go look up some folks you know i am picturing his big old head um he's like a texas guy he lives here in texas still I, it'll come to me but it was kind of like they made a bigger deal about you know these players that you see it all the time like celebrating players saying goodbye to them do you remember when they did zeke's like zeke came to play at AT at&t and they did like a montage for him i'm like oh yeah he's not dead he's the enemy now he plays for another team i like Uh, elvis andrews coming back to retire with the rangers type deal yeah so i i don't know i don't i don't love how they handled it i think that it was i don't know part of me is like i i saw some some rumors that maybe they didn't announce it because they don't want viewership to suffer for Austin because they know how important Ricardo is to like the yeah. country lore of Texas. Like it's just so weird. He's like become the face of this race. So I so I someone said, well maybe they don't want to announce it because they don't want to ruin that race. I'm like you already have like F1 lets fans vote driver of the day and it's typically someone who is kind of like Miss Congeniality. It might not be the winner. Sometimes it is, but it's sometimes someone who showed. I don't know, perseverance in the race, someone who did something controversial. It's yeah. rarely somebody who's at the back of the grid. Uh, but Danny won driver of the day. So the thing, the fans are in on it. There's all this buzz. There's way too much noise for Formula One or one of these teams not to acknowledge that this was actually his last race. Here's my, here's my, here's my wish. I don't think it's going to come true. But my wish is this is one big, really wild PR play. And that he's going to come and get signed. Like, they're going to act Sergio. They're going to put him in a Red Bull seat. And they're going to let him race at Austin. Like, uh, part that... of me feels like if they did that, I would be like, wow, that's actually brilliant, this work. Because he was part of the RB team, team, right? He wasn't on the Red Bull team, right? Yeah, that... he's not on. He's not with Max and Sergio. He's kind of like the feeder team. Kind of like how Williams is another team for, essentially, for Mercedes. Like, they'll share drivers. Um, same energy here. Who has the but bigger o- following, Sergio or or Danny? Ooh, uh, I think Danny, because of his just amount of time in the sport, he's been a well-known face for years. Yeah. Sergio has a massive international presence, obviously a big one in Mexico. He's got a lot of money. He's got a lot of reach. But I think commercially more valuable to the sport was Daniel Ricardo over mm. this time. Yeah. So I do think, though, in terms of driving, I don't really think I can make an apples to apples comparison unless I see Danny Ricardo in the same car as Sergio. Yeah, for make. sure. For let's sure. Let's do. Let's just battle it out. You know, like you know, when people in high school used to just go fight in the parking lot, and then yep. they'd be like, "All right, we're good." You know. Yeah. We would just fight it out. Let, it, yeah. Like, All right. Let Max I take a weekend we off. <laughs> you know, get away from the game for a little bit since he hasn't got a win in a while. Maybe he just needs to get away from it, not think about it. Or we'll go get some reps in on his uh, VR video we'll game. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll but... fight it out. And then we'll decide, you know, we'll decide who wins. Uh, they can have the seat. I don't know. I don't do something interesting, you know? Let's yeah. do a mini sprint race for Sergio and, and Daniel Ricardo to. Uh, hey, they can, they can do it in Dallas. It could be a Red yeah. Bull run, like, for something. Exactly. You know? We'll have them run down Harry Hines. <laughs> hey, hey, they might come up. They might pull up with something. <laughs> at the finish line, you know, have a little. We'll be over there, <laughs> waving our flags. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. I the whole thing is very interesting to me. Sports are so cutthroat, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. I, I've watched a lot of hard knocks, and you know how they they bring them into the room to cut them from from the the squads and yep. they build you up, and then they just they cut you out. And I just feel like what hey. a what a real world thing, right? Like with work or anything is, is that idea that you don't have a guaranteed spot. And, and that's, I, I guess that's what happened to Danny. He didn't perform. He didn't do what he needed to do. And somebody obviously was very wrong. Hey, right we now. called it a revolving door. Pitchers. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. If you can't come in and, you, and throw strikes, bro. Yep. Like I don't even, there's so many pitches I play with. I still don't know their name. There was no point <laughs> in learning it, you know, unless they came in throwing strikes. <laughs> It just is yeah. what it is, you know, and that's how it goes. That revolving door is serious, but uh, we totally. we have a what the we're about to start the fall break now. Like I didn't realize fall a fall break. break was coming too. 
Yep, they have a fall break. They do a little bit of their North American play here. So they'll go to Austin in October and then Mexico City. Um, we're really, I mean, we're, we're deep in the second half here. So there's still quite a bit to go. They'll race up until November, December. Um, and mm -hmm. I expect to see some personnel changes. There have already been some announcements that some, some of the strategy team from Red Bull actually is over at McLaren now. I expect to see some some changes. I think there's going to be this weird down. Remember last the last time we had a break, there was some downtime. There were a lot of rumors swirling. It's like, mm -hmm. where's Carlos Sainz going? Who's going to fill these extra seats? Who's going to take Mercedes? So I think downtime leaves a lot of room for interpretation and gossip to start. What I really hope to see, though, are some clear answers on what the hell is happening with Danny Ricardo. Where is he going to go? Hey, you know what? If it's not F1, do you know who would crush in NASCAR? Danny Rick. Danny Rick would kill in NASCAR. So if he's not going to be an F1 driver, I hope he's on some grid somewhere. Um, I think he could absolutely be an incredible NASCAR driver. And our friend Logan Sargent actually is going to be doing some IndyCar testing since he got asked from, from F1. So I don't know. Maybe we'll see some cool announcements come out. Wow. Some IndyCar. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So hey, some crossover taking place possibly. And hey, last mm -hmm. time uh, we had a break like this, we got news of uh other other big things taking place right uh other drivers yeah. going you know getting seats uh what, what's yeah. my guy for um who got the seat in the last break carlos announced the williams transition from so he'll, he'll yeah that williams that was it for, that was uh, it that was a big one and then um the williams seat. there was other other big announcements um, well you that know was of course the biggest buzz yeah, the, I'm saying just during that last break that Williams seat was taken. Maybe, you know, maybe Red Bull is. I was thinking it's possible that Red Bull might let that gentleman go, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you said that Sergio Perez had a massive presence in Mexico, uh, I kind of, I was like, all right, that's not it. Because <laughs> especially know, down I here, mean, you know, in this area. All these, but, uh, you know, things. Sorry, so man, much you got on people, people calling here. my phone, um, trying to mess me up. No. Can you hear me? See why? Yep. Yep. Sorry about that. Someone just no. called me all in my ear. Who's calling uh, you? But yeah, no, it's. We should do you a know. live answer. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Bring him on to the show. Goodness. Like, what's going on? <laughs> but uh, I didn't mean to answer. Uh, that was an accident. I was just trying to hang mm -hmm. up. But anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's pretty cool, man. We'll see what happens, you know? It, it will be cool, like you say, if, if, uh, if Danny Rick. Right, uh, gets a gets a spot down there uh, with Red Bull, and will you be at the Austin race this year? You know, I'm I'm hoping for it. I got a really cool invite to go last year with AWS, and nice. um, that was really super last minute. So I'm kind of banking on maybe that happens again. I haven't made a, a big effort to try and be there. Um, you know, I'm just too busy hanging out with Shaq. I was telling you guys, that yeah, on man, oh. Shaq Diesel. I saw our man uh, Shaquille, and um, I told him about the show, and I was yep. like, "Hey, if you're not too busy DJing, <laughs> come check us party. on out. You know, we can yeah. we, we'll we'll have a nice little interview with you, Shaq. You know, we love yeah. you down oh, here, yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah, Shaq is a good uh, guy about giving back. You know, he, philanthropist. He, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's he always helping somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And you know, I, you know, I look. He's ambitious, man. He's done everything he wants to do in life, and he owns a ton of businesses now. He's a DJ. He's been a mm -hmm. cop. He's been a genie. Like you know, like <laughs> dude is off the chain. That's all yeah. I'm saying. I'm a he almost has done as many things as I have. See why? Wow. You know what I'm oh, saying? I don't doubt it. He's about to catch up with all. Yeah, that's a lot. That's yeah. a lot. <laughs> yeah, but now see why this has been another amazing, amazing episode of the first lady F one over here on on Noonish, you know, per Noonish. What's what's going down with you? But now nah, you know you're <laughs> off the chain, man. I don't gotta I don't gotta say too much more. When's our next race? Uh, what's the what's the next date? Race date? Uh, literally like a, a month from from now. So the next exact date I'll tell you is it's the Austin race, and it is on October twenty second, eighteenth. 18th through 20th is the weekend. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hey, that's my birthday weekend, so it's oh. going down. Okay. Yes, sir. What are we but, doing? Uh, but no, nah, it's, it's been go? great, C.Y. Thank you so much again. <laughs> yes. First lady of C. Ooh, first lady of F1. First lady of C.Y. too. Uh, either one. Newness yeah. Okay, love you all. Christiana Yebra. Bye-bye. Right, we'll see you later. Much love, C.Y. <laughs> yeah, man.
Miss C.Y. in the building. Yeah. Y'all know what it is, man. I yeah. hope y'all enjoy that every week like I do, man. She is off the chain. Got me up on Sunday mornings watching watching F1, you know. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't faking the funk. It's really what it is. Hey, man, I'm here. just going to tell you straight up. She going to bring some information that Unc has no clue about. Yeah, so every time. Probably, I mean, you know, and it's good because, uh, I mean, not that I don't, you know, it's always good to learn something. Yeah, it is. Yeah, when it she's is. talking, I'm listening because what she's talking about, I know nothing about. Nothing. And I can't contribute much, yeah. but other than what I saw that yeah. day, all I can do is shake me and say you're right. Sir. Yeah, I saw some. I saw some Netflix episodes, but hey, yeah. I, I when I went to that Red Bull run in Dallas, like I'm telling you, um, it was tens of thousands of people out there. Oh yeah, with Red Bull racing gear. Oh yeah, when you and, and they looked like they was from all kinds of countries. When it was a wild situation. Uh, man, when you go to events that, you know, because I went to a NASCAR, a couple of NASCAR yeah. events. Oh, yeah. Man, I, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. I mean, I was like, man, it's way more off the chain than a football Absolutely. game. Absolutely. Anything. I was like, what? Yeah, I mean, you the only, only NASCAR event I went to, I was in college, and uh -huh. we had to do uh, volunteer work, and I got... Robbie Knievel sweet. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so I was up there. They them boys was gone up there to Walker. <laughs> hey, you ever had to Walker before? Uh, I have saw it. Is yeah, that a vodka? Uh, no, nah, it's like it's a, a, a tequila. So I don't know what. Uh, yeah, it is. it's a yeah. It's but it's clear, right? It, yeah, no, it's brown. It's brown. Okay, yeah, this okay. Is well, brown I, might have I was it. looking at. Hey, well, no, nah, it, it, it may be different, but uh, no, I haven't had it. Yeah, no, nah, I don't want it neither. Cause no, them boys nah. was gone off nah. that drink. That boy Knievel did a jump before the race started, you know, and came up there. They was crunk, and I'm talking. I was just serving drinks up, you know. I thought I was gonna get a big tip that night, I, cause I kept pouring heavy. <laughs> oh, they gave you no. Oh, hey, they gave me a little something. But yeah, but little something. Nothing like you no, about. no, I thought you know, good conversation, you know, doing all the things. I had all the all, hitting all the cues to make sure. They pad them pockets, but uh, they let your boy down. It's all good. Oh yeah, it was still a good time though. Oh yeah, you know a great story. But yeah, that's it, it's like jumping into another planet. You know, another experience you've never done. I like doing that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, me too. Well, like I said, I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, let's go on and jump into these topics. Starting with Tupac warned or something. <laughs> Tupac tried to warn us. Hey, on the back of that Machiavelli album, you know, it looked yeah. like he got Diddy in a tutu. Yeah, I, man, you they, know, these people been knowing what's going on, man. Man, people been knowing what's going on, and it just got to the point to where somebody said enough is enough, or it's time, or it's time to bring this one down. Yeah, man, you know that's all. Man, come to everything find out, everything run its course. Yeah, everything run its course. And everything got its time frame. And when your time is up, no matter, you know, your time is up. And if you're doing, you know, this is what I try to tell people that's doing all this wrong stuff. Yeah. That's not a career. Yeah. yeah. It's an adventure. It's just, just Man, different. Temporary. It's different from the Army. The Army is not an adventure. Mm -hmm. It's a career. This is opposite. Absolutely. Yeah, this is an adventure, not a call. When you try to make a, a career out of illegal activities you going to jail you know you, you want to know what i want to know i wonder i've been thinking about who did cat williams talk to because i'm talking the first week of january when that interview came out he said 2024 your time is up and he called him out the one name he did say was puff daddy puffy your time is up yeah oh. and all you other people lying and been doing all this crazy stuff Behind the camera, your time is. I wonder who Cat Williams talked to because it seemed he was. He well, you was. Cat Williams might have. No, Cat Williams might have a connection with uh, uh Cat Williams is is way more intelligent than people give him credit for. Man. Yeah. So Cat, I, I I don't know who he talked to or what else. And then he may have just been knowing that uh, sometimes you know it's just time is up. Yeah. That's I mean, it. he may have knew. I mean, and then he may have knew that somebody was getting ready to. Say more than they had ever said before. I don't know what Cat Williams knew. Yeah. But, uh, and, and, and you know, and just according to, uh, like they say in the hood, word on the street here, that there's a whole lot of other people shaking in their boots. Yeah. Because everything is on videotape. And this is the whole thing. It's so many people 
that can tell you, oh, I went to a Diddy party, this and that. So if you didn't try to stop it, you may be complicit. Yeah. I mean, man, so it's like he was incriminating himself. And now this young lady, Thalia Graves, then came out, you know, and, 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 and saying that he and one of his former bodyguards raped her own film and started selling it as a, as a porno. And she's been trying to get in contact with him. And first of all, she was humiliated by the whole situation. And I don't know. We wasn't there. We don't know what was talked about prior to. Yeah. But right. the way that this young lady has responded and the way she's acting is, you know, it wasn't agreed upon and it would go down like that. Saying, it's, you oh, know, yeah. she was drugged through a beverage and woke up, you know. Oh, well, yeah. Getting, all of these. Yeah. 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 All of that stuff uh, don't necessarily have to be ag agreed upon. But you know something egregious is going to happen because of the yeah. situation you're in. Yeah. I mean, seem like you should, but I don't want to go down that road. But I'm not trying to blame the victim. But Joseph Sherman, I think, was the bodyguard because I know he's got several bodyguards, and I don't want to, you know, get them confused. Yeah. Right? I, I don't know which one. But, yeah. You know, they all going down. And like I say, if they did what they said they say he did, he, he deserved to go down and Good riddance why you're down. Yeah, man. You know. Yeah, man. And then they said that, uh, and that's just a horrible situation. I don't know if you've read about that or what that case is about. But, duh, that's, that's, that's some, you know, oh, yeah, you got to have some, some, some evil spirits in you to do that to somebody. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, yeah. And then uh, all of these little young boys that he, you know. Uh, uh, Justin you know, Bieber's it, messed up right now. Yeah, you know, all, all these young boys, I'm going to say it like this. I don't know what they did, but they were waking up in the bed together. You know, him and Ursh and yeah. just all, all, all this stuff is just terrible, man. Yeah. And then I'm just like, I'm wondering, you know, like how much, what what, what punishment is he really getting right now, right? Because evidently he's in the same cell as Sam Bankman Free that got it, had that uh, cryptocurrency fraud. Yeah, well, first off. took all off, those cash down. First off, he's not in uh, general population. General population. Yeah. So. That's the first thing. He, he he's not in general population. Yeah, they say him and Sam Bankman Fried are like bunking up with a couple other people in their dorm style. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Cell. You yeah, know, where we're holding away from everybody they, else. That's crazy. Yeah. But they, you know, they saying he on suicide, watching all kinds of stuff, man. And you know, I hate that for him, but man, like he he know he got them skeletons, and well, you know, it's only you know. I mean, you know, all, it's all kinds of mess different. It's, I, I, hey, it's a I'm lot going like on that. with that situation. I, you know, August like this. Whatever bed you made lying in, I don't feel bad for him or nothing. Man, because I'm telling you. he made that bed, he lying in it. That's just because of all the problems that I've had, yeah. he had to deal with them. Yeah. And uh, that is what it is. I'm going to say it like that. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Yeah. Should have, you know, you can't, you got to, what was that? All, everything come to the light? Yeah. yeah. You know what everything I'm in the dark on sooner or later come man, to the light. Bro. You know, and why you think nobody know, the only person that you're fooling is yourself because everybody know. Yeah. I seen the deal on Mike Tyson and when, when he was on the Arsenio Hall show. Man. Arsenio Hall been off TV 25 or 30 years. Yeah. And Mike Tyson took P. D. the hand and moved it off his leg. Yep. And then P. D. to put his hand real close up under Mike Tyson's leg. Then Mike Tyson moved his hand and, and then scooted it, scoot it up. Yeah. Scooted it up. Yeah. And then kind of looked at him like, bro, like, <laughs> like, like say, man, you, stop relax that, man. me getting knocked out, bro. Yeah. Around here, oh, man. Yeah, absolutely. I ain't, so, that, you know. I ain't that dude for that, you know, yeah. but. But yeah, man, uh, Tupac warned us, man, on his on the back cover, man. He got, you know, y'all y'all just go check out that Machiavelli cover oh, yeah, on the yeah. backside and, and see what you see, man. But you know, evidently this, this ain't nothing new, and this ain't no secret. You no, know? It ain't nothing new. Ain't this no is secret. a well known situation that's been taking place for a long time, and man, like it, it sucks because in hip hop, he he was one of those dudes that has been, you know, the face over the past thirty years. One of them, you know, it's a producer, not necessarily talent but you know um you know he mtv like he been all over the scene you know representing yeah, the east coast time. and oh, yeah, for a long you know time. bad boy and just hip-hop in general man like man it, it, it's it's a black eye on us right there you know what i'm saying it's all i'm saying but hey I, I did see somebody say something like i didn't know it was a crime to be nasty because you have to been having freak off parties forever but uh <laughs> But you have to didn't didn't make nobody do nothing. Yeah, you're right. He, he, he yeah. invited the cameras in. Look at these girls walk around here. Yeah, you, you're right. They're up in here on their own wheel. You're right about Free that. Free wheel. No, no, that's a whole yeah, different. That's two different yeah, things. Don't put a Hugh Hefner in there. Okay. Hugh Hefner is a player 
for yeah. my hell. Yeah. And, uh, and it's different, but, but <laughs> no. No, who you helping us? Always had the news media yeah. and everybody up in this freak. Hey, 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 don't hey, mistake what I just said for trying, trying to, you know, no, say anything is okay with that. Because no, it ain't. No, no, no. It's all saying, wrong and it's all bad. Grown man. women under their own consent yeah. making big money walking yeah. around and they love it. Yeah, with their with they bunny ears on. <laughs> Hey, cause one thing about and, this, and they who the shirt? I, I ain't mad that you help that at all. You yeah. don't cry. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah not so much. <laughs> hey, I, because of you after I learned what's the what's the the, the Oscar, uh, what's it called the Oscar, uh, the, the the neck piece the the ascot. 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 Oh yeah, I learned what an ascot was because oh, yeah, of you after man. Yeah. You know, play boy, what's going down? But yeah, we gonna keep this thing moving. Hey man, if you got there, yeah. see something, say something. Somebody come in the live chat. Yeah, man, if you, you know. see something, say something, yeah. man. You know, we over here just hanging out, having a you great know. time. You know. And now uh, we're finna get to our real subject we and, talk about. And about to sports. get to the business. We're man. finna get to the sports. So come on Starting in. Starting with talk your ish. So we can talk some ish back with you. Those Dallas Cowboys and those Baltimore Ravens here. At AT and T Stadium this week, so <laughs> and Bubba Dub said something for real. He said, "Man, New Orleans came in here and put some of that voodoo on them streets <laughs> when they was playing that, that music after the game." Hey, you know, got us playing like trash out here right hey, now. Hey, I'm gonna tell you like this: it, you know, you voodoo. They got a remedy for that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's all kind of stuff. They got Palestine, Texas. They got a lady right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Hey, yeah, I know, but uh. It didn't have nothing to do with that. It had to do with coaching. No, it still had to do with general managing, yep. coaching, and player ownership. Nobody effort. is taking effort, accountability, no, accountability, all that. Nobody's taking any of that yeah. seriously in Dallas. Yeah, that's the way. I, when I say nobody, Jerry, Mike McCarthy, because <laughs> this is one of the one. This is one of the things that really chapped my hide. Mike McCarthy stood right there and said, "Oh yeah, th Thursday I could. Uh, we had a hard. We had a bad practice Thursday. Man, you supposed to did. You supposed to stop that. Soon as you see things ain't going right. Yeah, you got to stop the practice and ask some what. I mean, y'all just what are got we here drugged. For? You wasting yeah. my time, yeah, and yours. And, yours, and, and you just got drugged by New Orleans, and you ain't practicing good. Yeah, they say you didn't heard that. I didn't heard that several times this week. They had a bad week of practice last week." What the hell y'all doing? And see, the thing about college and pro, like, in, in college, hey, we can take your name off your jersey, dog. Yeah. I can, I can do something. Hey, man, we did that in high school. Coach, brr, 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 brr. hold up. Yeah, man. This is not how we practice. We starting this, over. This is this is Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. We got a game Friday. Yeah. Y'all do this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Friday, you're going you gonna to get but drunk. But see, they got so many CBA, or was it, the, the rules... Uh, collective bargaining agreement rules, like where they can only practice for so long. See, back in the gap, but this is like, thing. hey, nah, we ain't leaving till we get it right. But this is the whole thing. <laughs> if I got you for, I think practice two and a half, three hours. Guess what, man? We doing everything fast, and yeah, we doing it till we get it right. Reps. Okay, you know, rep. Nobody rep. walking. Yeah, nobody walking. When you leave here, run over there. Yeah, cause we got to get a lot done in a short time, man. Yeah. Yeah. Got, you know. See, one one thing I did appreciate that I saw Colorado doing, right? Uh, the week they played, who was that? They played the, the, a couple weeks ago. They had a fast-paced you know, fast -paced offense. Yeah. Uh, somebody they played. Anyway, what they did, they set up uh, for the defense, for the first team defense, they set up two offenses. Yeah. As soon as one play got done, the other run one was over, up. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. man. They had or, to, or the they other had, offense run on the field. They had to get going. Yeah, and or kept it they, rolling. Yeah. Kept yeah, them rolling. Just kept like rolling, that, you yeah. know. So, and prepared them boys, you know. I, I don't know what type of preparation is going on. I'm not speaking down on Mike McCarthy's game. I wasn't at the last game, but I, I did get the invite. But I had a yeah. birthday party to attend. Yeah. Hey, and I, I will I, be I'm the next saying, one, but I ain't speaking I, down on Mike. So, everybody I, else, y'all need to get it together, man. I can't. Hold each other I'm accountable. A, hey, girl, I don't like nothing about the Cowboys, the coach, yeah. the quarterback, the receivers, Ooh. and this is the whole thing. You finally came around on that. Huh? Hey, no, no more no, of that, no that, like that. No no that, that Dak and Lamar comparison. They, 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 he ain't did nothing but beat Dallas. <laughs> he beat him. <laughs> yeah. So, Bang. hey, that ain't, that ain't nothing right on. I know, I know, I know hey, the score hey, was close, but the game hey, wasn't. Hey, hey, I, yeah, I know it. But this thing, Lamar. Beat Josh Allen this this, this week. I hope and, he does. And, and, and this so, is the so thing. After he beat and, Josh Allen, what you gonna and, say? And, and this is the and this is the thing. It's still still gonna until he do it in the playoffs because this is this is the thing. Lamar lost two games. 
He had a critical turnover in each one of those first two games. Absolutely. That's my knock on Lamar. I ain't never said Lamar couldn't play. Yeah. His, my my issue is you don't deliver in the big game. That's my issue with Lamar. Yeah. And then my, my issue with Dak is I would have never gave him the first contract, so I would have never gave, he's gave not him good. the second contract. Your issue with Dak is that and, he's and not I good. Gave, I wouldn't have given and, and I told you that the, when the year start, I wouldn't have gave C. I would have let all of them play their contract out. All them C's and D's that Tom Brady was giving on them throws. He wasn't even talking about C.D. Lamb. No, he, he was C.D. He, he C.D. Was. C.D. C.D. Yeah. C plus D minus D plus yeah. C minus absolutely, absolutely. C minus D but minus D plus D. The C. only thing every the, throw the, for Dak was a C or a D, man, and that's what I've been saying. The only the thing accuracy is a real thing. The, the only thing that Dallas is not doing this year that they did last that last year, and the, 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 the defense is playing so sorry, they're not even holding them to three and keep themselves on the field. They're just going down the field every time. CD, and then CD, CD, see, see when I start nitpicking on guys, I start nitpicking on them. CD, just like last year, I say, he got a lot of ball, hit his hand. Sunday, he had two balls and hit his hand. Yep. And he had a fumble. In the so red why, zone. Yeah, so why are you fussing? Yeah, no doubt. I why understand. are you fussing? I understand you, that, though. You, and, 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 and then when I started nitpicking, I went back and I went to 2023. CeeDee Lamb was number three in wide receivers in fumbles. Yeah. And, and, but, and the only two receivers of any uh, worth of salt that I saw on that list was him and Diggs. I didn't see no Metcalf. I didn't see no Hill. I didn't see no uh, Jamar Chase. Yeah. I didn't see. I didn't see Justin. Just, I didn't see none of them on that former list, but him and Diggs, yeah. the two that complained the most and all that. So I'm, I'm just saying, CD is a good receiver, but I wouldn't have gave him that. I, you don't. To me, you don't deserve to be the number two receiver in the league. I would have given it to him because I, I, I feel like I, I feel like CD is our number one option on the offense. But just because you're the number one option, that don't make you a number one receiver. I, I think he's a number but, one receiver because. Uh, but Sunday, I also I also feel that his quarterback doesn't give him enough true opportunities. He did drop a couple balls, but how many balls did Dak not put on him or get close okay. to him? He the, On that pass interference in the end zone, if Dak just throws a good ball, it's a touchdown. Okay, but the one was in his hands. He fumbled that. I mean, he had that yeah, running. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, he, he made uh, that mistake. Saying, no doubt. And then I, then I turn on Seattle game. Yeah. And then I see DK Metcalf take the ball from the DB and run for a touchdown. I see them take two balls. From the DB, well, I, I didn't even watch the whole game. Watch one quarter. I, I turned over that but DK. They got, back quarter, they got a quarterback up there in Seattle. Geno Smith is since he's been in Seattle, he's been lights out. We okay. don't got a quarterback down here. Okay, you know, okay. Geno Smith will hit a dude in stride. Dak won't. I saw okay. so many quarterbacks uh, no, on Sunday but, hitting dudes but this in stride. Is the, but this is the thing: the passes I'm talking about wasn't hit in stride. DK Metcalf took it from the DB. Oh yeah, and did did you see that? Yeah, he took it from it and then ran for a touchdown. I don't – when you – I see Jamar Chase doing that. I see Justin Jefferson. I see Tyreek Hill and them doing special stuff. I, I, I don't see C.D. doing that. But how often – That's not just me. Uh, yeah, just I, I agree me. with you. I'm not disagreeing with you at all. Huh? I mean, I think – I see him doing special stuff. That's why he's leading the league in yak. He gives maximum effort when he gets the ball. Now, he made a mistake having the ball too low and not securing the ball after the catch, knowing somebody's behind him. Trying to make he it move. Sometimes, sometimes you got to catch last that year. rocket. He did and, the same and, thing last year. And That's how he was and, one of the, and keep going forward. He did he the did. same thing last year. That's why he was one of the top receivers that fumbled the most. Yeah, CD Lamb was number three. But it's not because of lack of effort, though. Is what I'm saying. Like matter of fact, it might matter. be because he's he trying to do too much. See, listen, if anything, it doesn't matter how it happens. Yeah, no the, doubt. The, the fact I agree is that you. it happened. I agree with you. That's all I'm saying. And to me, Dallas don't have no top tier players. In their position, as, including as a, Michael Parsons. As a in player, their though, and, and I'm not excusing his fumbles, on, but as a player, when you feel like I might not get the ball in my hands too much because this dude can't ever hit me, so when I do have my opportunities and you maxing out trying to do a lot, like he's trying to score right there. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the first now, receiver. He, absolutely. I, had a bad I, I, I agree with I just, you. I, agree I, just, with I you. just seen Brandon Marshall. I agree he got, with you. He got 14,000 yards. And Brandon he got, Marshall he got, made some crucial mistakes and had some crucial fumbles at times. But, he, but, 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 but I ain't never seen him on the ground kicking like a little. No. I ain't don't even that. let me say. Let that. me say baby because I, I was seen finna seen say another B word. I'm going to say baby because yeah. I was finna say another B word. And, but that play was on a pass interference. It doesn't matter. You act out. He wasn't acting out on the pass interference. He was acting out on the bad ball that should have been a touchdown. 
Then just somebody like, act out. Did he fumble? I, he had some bad I, play. I, 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 hey, I'm not disagreeing with you. I ain't disagreeing with you. But I'm just pointing out. A lot of it has to do. We're seeing his frustrations with his quarterback come out. Is what I'm saying. That's that's all I'm saying. And he's got to yeah, be frustrated okay. with himself first and foremost. And I'm sure he is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you can't be yeah. acting so, out like that and, off, and, and be the one off, making the mistakes. Solve at the same your time. own problems yeah. before you worry about Period. somebody else. Period. And that's how yeah. a team wins championships. Yeah, so, when, when they hold yeah. themselves accountable. accountable and their teammates. And, exactly. But first thing, you can't hold you, hold you accountable yeah. when you're not accountable. Yeah, do your job. Because do your that, job first. Because right now, the Cowboys have have no player yeah. that can go up to the other one and say, you ain't doing your job and I am. And that's they why, that's now why, that's why D-Law that. and, and, and Michael Parsons had to spat on the bench. Yeah. Because cause Michael Parsons over here talking smack. Meanwhile, we ain't seeing him make no plays. No. Like, where are you, Michael Parsons? So D-Law said, went up to him told him, shut the hell up. Yeah. Because I don't want to hear it. Because I seen, and, and this is the honest truth, D-Law didn't make no lot of plays, but I did see D-Law hustling. I seen D-Law Two, two times, 20, 30 yards downfield, yeah. and Michael Parsons done stop. Yeah. And then one time, Michael Parsons said his superpower is his speed. Then I seen Overshawn run past him chasing a guy, a and then he stopped. Yeah, that was that was in the first game. Yeah. Like no, that was against uh, – no, that was against uh, oh, what's the name? Overshawn too? been doing that a lot. Yeah, then. yeah, he did that <laughs> against New Orleans too. He done ran past Parsons. And Parsons, I thought that was your superpower. That's what you said. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, Michael Parsonell spend too much time doing what we're doing right now, talking on podcast. You need to be in the gym or on the field or doing something else yeah. besides talking. Yeah, what up, Trip? What's, hey, up, what's Trip? up, going? What's going down, man? We ain't see you on the chat on the screen, but I got it on my phone right now. So, yeah, we back up, man. What's going down, Trip? I'm going to type it in this thing. I think I think YouTube want to see us interacting, you know. But, uh. Yeah, now nah, these, like I said, these Cowboys, and then after seeing, you know, Jaden Daniels, and we'll get to him in a second, but man, hey, this Cowboys season looking worse and worse if they worse don't get it worse, figured man. out. Worse you know, uh, the, you figure after eight eight seasons, how, what, three seasons with McCarthy now? Four? How many How many years he been here? I think this he, is four. He been here long enough for him and Dak to be on the same page, and they're not. Dak still look like he can't run an offense. Uh, Tom Brady was saying that this is a Dak run offense right now. You know, and if that's the case, bro, you got to run it better than what you're doing. You know, you gotta you gotta get your pre snap reads a lot better. And I'm gonna say it like this: if this a Dak run offense, that's a Mike McCarthy problem because Dak ain't did enough to run no offense. He's been his, how he gonna run offense? He's been here he seven years. What, what what other quarterback do you know in the organization been there for seven eight years that's not running the offense? What other one do you know that's not? So that's 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 an expectation. He should be running the offense at this point. But if you ain't doing it well for damn, but I don't care. Well, give him, you give him two hundred sixty million to run the offense. I, I, I said I'm I would have gave it to him in the front. I would have yeah, gave him exactly. The, hey, I wouldn't have gave him right there with you. I wouldn't even gave him one hundred eighty or whatever he got last time. I wouldn't. Either. I wouldn't have gave him that. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't have right. gave him that money. I wouldn't have gave CD that money. And Michael Parsons coming up, I'm, I'm not gonna give you no lot of money. Come on over to the good side, man. <laughs> Cowboy fans, if you're fed up and you're tired of it. <laughs> Come on over to the good side, man. Come man. back home to the Dallas Texans. And let, let's root the Dallas man. Texans to come on back home. They man. can be the Dallas Chiefs when they get here. You know? But come on over to the good side if you want to root for an organization that, that cares about winning. That has, has, has good coaches that are scheming up plays to put their playmakers in position to make plays. Right? Has a, has a good eye for a quarterback and a, and a coach that will make a decision when to take a dude out and put a starter in. Right, because I see the future in this kid. Yeah. But he can actually play though. Right? Sign the right people to five hundred million dollar deals. You know? I'm I'm it's like it's like uh I, I'm like Suge Knight at the at the uh Source Awards. <laughs> Come on over. If you don't want your 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 owner dancing all in the videos, <laughs> you know, in front of the camera after the game. Hey, but that Dallas got so many problems and Come on is, over to the good side. And this is just the start. Dallas got a lot of problems. Start and and like anytime something is consistently bad, starts at the top. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna talk about that later too. Yeah, that's we're it. Talk about that later. That's it, man. But you know, before we get to that, you know, there is a game this Thursday night uh, on Prime, Amazon Prime. It is. We have your Dallas Cowboys taking on the New York Giants. Right? Uh, did the 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 blue? Did the Giants get a win this weekend? Yeah, I think the Giants is one and two. They got a uh, they they got a win. I don't know if it was this week. It seemed like it was this week. Yeah, I can't remember who they be. Yeah, 
Yeah. Because the Commanders... It's, I know yeah. the Commanders got to win on Monday night, and and we're gonna talk about that in a second they, as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, because they they two and one, I think. Yeah, they two and we, we, right now. Now, nah, so the Giants lost because we're we're in third place right now behind the Commanders and the Eagles. Oh, okay. Right. The Giants lost. The Giants are one and two, and we one and two, and the, and the and the Eagles and the Commanders are two and one. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, this past week, the New York Giants. They lost. No, 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 no. They beat the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. So they were. They lost two games before this past. So that. Weekend. So that's even a bigger indictment on Cleveland. Exactly. So that, so that one one we we got is horrible. Yeah. We thought Cleveland was a decent team. And yeah. Not. No. They not. No. Nah. Nah, but I mean, they only gave up. Uh, what twenty one points? They, so Cleveland lost twenty one to fifteen, to the Browns. Uh, yeah, to the uh, to the Giants this past weekend. You know, and, and uh, hey, worse and worse on Deshaun Watson over there hey, yeah, every week. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That's not a good thing, right there. That's what I, and this is my whole thing. I, to me, I have no doubt that Deshaun Watson is a decent quarterback. Yeah, but he ain't got no decent team. So yeah, we so uh, before we get to Deshaun, because we're gonna come back to him. What you think about this game Thursday night? And, and by the way, uh, we are sponsored. You'll see in a second ago. Uh, you know, uh, Bet Bet US is our partner. You know, affiliate partner. Uh, I got the shirt on, man. I ain't gonna buy this thing. They sent it to me, so I don't want y'all thinking we just talking ish. We mm-hmm. we've been an affiliate of those guys for quite some time now. Yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, just haven't been pushing it right. But uh, we getting back to it though. Right, because putting putting our money where our mouth is. If you want to make get, a bet, go let, over there. Let's get this bread together. Yeah, if you want to make you know, a bet, go over there and scan that QR code. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, but I mean, how, how do you? What, what is it going to take for the Cowboys to beat the Giants this weekend? Because you know the Giants are going to come with a stiff D line and some and some DBs back there. What is it going to take for the Cowboys? First thing they got to show up to the game. Yeah, <laughs> ready to play. They haven't showed up yet. So you know uh, they got to show up to the game. And they got to want to, man. We've been on the we've been on the bully to bully the Giants, in, you know, in these down years. Well, I, I'm gonna say it like they got this. some young talent out there, uh, young Malik uh, neighbors. But, but those bully days are over. I mean, because even when we was bullying them, we wasn't. I mean, the teams like this wasn't coming in. New Orleans wasn't coming in and beating us like that. Man, you know, when I'm we telling were bullying you. people. Yeah, I'm right? telling you. I mean, you know, and then a whole lot of you know, man, the Cowboys got a lot of problems because. That line, they looked it decent against uh, Cleveland, but it's been looking, that offensive line, yeah. just, just looking like we got three new starters up there. Man, and our DB, Wondell Robinson, and I think we can have trouble because our secondary, 21, getting picked on by just about everybody. He ain't doing a bad job. He a young buck doing a pretty decent job. But he, but they got all day. Yeah, I don't care who you got. And what's my boy number six? Oh, uh, Wilson? Yeah, man. He looking. See, he been looking good with pressure. Yeah, but well, he, he don't have no pressure. When he's in cut, like he he's not looking good against the run. Of course, he's a smaller, but he's a safe. He's got to come up and fill gaps at times. Yeah, right. And he's running to the wrong hole. He's looking lost out there on the field. That touchdown up the seam the other day, uh, Sunday, uh, to Bateman. Yeah. Lamar Jackson is rolling out to his right. Bateman fakes a post corner. He faced the post, gets here, and I'm talking, Wilson turns all the way around. Yeah. Bro, like, why would he be running this direction if the quarterback is rolling out to his right? That, that's, he's, he's not running the right over here, but he, he got you to bite on it. Yeah. And instead of, you know, staying open and, 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 and moving his hips and being in the good back pedal where he can make that adjustment and go here, he turns back. And as soon as he turns his hips, yeah. He was toast. Yeah. He was toast. So just stuff like that, man, like. In order to be good, man, and, and, you know, we already talked about Michael Parsons and the lack of play we're getting from the line. Derrick Henry was running all over these boys. He was in the second level before they could do anything. Yeah. And, and on to the third level and, and, and see you later, you know? Derrick Henry has more yards on the Cowboys than yeah. he did his other two games combined. Absolutely. A lot more. Probably and, almost doubled them. Uh, and, and, uh, oh, oh, I mean, well, where he had 130 yards in two games, mm-hmm. he had 150 against the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah, season highs. Alvin, Alvin Kamara, Kamara, season same highs. Thing. He got 140 yards on the Cowboys, but he got with 260. Yeah. All together. Yeah. You know, so all that's the man, the Cowboys. And, and, and we're not even talking about Lamar Jackson and the production that and he And then I'm going to say this, too. The, the Dallas Cowboys, they are so undisciplined because I saw Lamar Jackson make one fake and move five guys. Yeah. 
on that on that read option. Yeah, five yeah. guys went one way, and yeah. he made a fake to the right. All five of those guys went to the right, and now ain't nobody in front of him. I seen that happen three times. I'm like, I thought during the week that you say. Uh, uh, you going to spy on Lamar. You yeah. take Lamar. You take the halfback. These are our assignments. Take, yeah, these are this this is your assignment. No Even discipline. if he pitched the ball, you that's still, still your man. Up. Yeah, man. They taught me that in, in our junior high school Absolutely. wasn't an option. Absolutely. No matter if he pitch it or not, that's your man. Yeah. But, yeah. So why wouldn't he fake half of the defense go take off running one way? And, and like, I said, man, and when I sit there and I saw number 50, yeah. Do that. I said, man, I thought Leighton Vanderidge was gone. Yeah, Running out man. the hole. Oh, yeah. Running out yeah, of the Ed hole. You right game, where man. the man finna run and take off full speed to the left. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, they killed us. Lamar only threw for 182, but they ran for 274 as a team on us. Yeah. Right? They had uh, their running backs. Zay Flowers had one run, one carry for three yards, which is solid. That means he had a reverse. It got stopped. They stayed home and made the play. But uh, between Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry, and Justice Hill, I mean, those guys average over six yards a carry. Lamar, uh, Derrick Henry averaged six yards a carry even. Lamar Jackson averaged six point two yards a carry, and Justice Hill averaged six point okay. six yards a carry. You just, you just, you just made a statement. You said that you didn't even see Derrick Henry get hit to the second and third level. Yeah, absolutely. Never ever. Okay, so when did you see Dallas running backs get hit? Oh, immediately. In the backfield. Immediately. In, in the backfield. Yeah, immediately. And they're talking about, oh, ZK run. Who the hell can run with no blocking? Exactly. Yeah, it was guys, man. It was dudes Come on, on, on their butts all game long. Come on, Smith. man. Yeah, so Smith. So yeah, I Smith don't care had, who you Smith had probably his worst game. Do you know what? Dalvin Cook don't want to come off injury reserve. I'm telling you. He don't want to because guess what? He ain't going nowhere either. Yeah. Because you got two and three you people in the block, backfield. Man. You, man. you got to block. block. You got to block. You got you to gotta have you know, some they, blocking at they, least for a half a second. And they talking Give about, a guy oh, a chance. Oh, Derrick Henry around for this. Man, every time I seen Derrick Henry touch the ball, he didn't even get touched hardly until he was eight yards down the field. Zeke has nine carries over the past two weeks. Rico Dottle, because he had six last week, he had three this week for six yards. Rico Dottle had eight carries for 32 yards. Like, but I understand because we're getting, we falling behind so fast. But look, and this is the thing, huh? and this is why I'm not giving our, our defense a complete pass. I ain't giving them nothing. But oh. I'm, I'm saying this. First year defensive coordinator. Yeah, he been in Dallas before. He didn't have these guys though, so I've never seen a defense just latch on to the defense. You know, typically in these situations, I'm sure they were counting on their offense to put you points up this year. Struggle this hard either, have you? No, no but it's, a, it's yeah. They, I mean, they, uh, Dan Quinn's first year, the defense was trash, and before Dan Quinn got here, remember our defense was hot garbage. It was horrible. We was giving up the most passing yards a game, most rushing yards a game. We was bad before Dan Quinn got here. Dan Quinn came up here, right at the ship a little bit. But that his first season was bad because they were still – it's guys out there thinking. They're not just out there playing right now. And you could tell. You know, so I'm giving – I'm giving this for this first season that our new defensive coordinator is here, Mike Zimmer, at least for the first eight games, I'm giving him a little bit of a pass. That to these guys know what they're doing. Get trashed? I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him eight like games. But, hey, our, our offense needs to be scoring more points. It's – Earlier in the game. I'm going to go to the old country saying I said a couple of weeks ago. It ain't about the X's and O's. It's about the Billy's and the Joe's. I mean, yeah, I it's get it. It's about the Billy's and the X's and O's. They is, matter, though. Yeah, it, they they matter. But the Billy's and the Joe's. Because I done seen 40 teams run the, run the uh, uh, 46 defense. But there were two of them doing good. Yeah. And then did they know the two that did it good? And they had a hell of a personnel. Absolutely. The personnel got a match. And I feel like this our personnel matches this style defense. Better than that 3-4. I, I feel tell. that way. So so far, I can't tell. Yeah, I mean. I'm just being honest. Yeah. I mean, you know, these guys are professional athletes. They've been playing football since they were eight years old. And talking about a new scheme is bullshit to me. You can't, you you practice for eight, to, to, what was training camp and all that. You can't learn to, you can't learn that if that if Lamar Jackson is your man, don't go for the fake, go for Lamar. You can't you learn can that learn in 12 weeks. You, you, you can't learn that in a week. Yeah. They've they been telling them this since July. But again, and, but and they mean, make it simple. They make it simple mistakes. Lamar not, Jackson special though. That's a different player. You really can't prepare for that dude. Tyson Hill special? Tyson Hill special? He had a pretty good. Oh, uh, come on. Tyson Hill been in the league 11 years. Justin, that was, yeah, that was, pretty good. That was the best good. game he'd had. Tyson Hill is not special. Justin Don't Hill. start there. He's he he pretty Tyson solid. Tyson Hill is not special. 
Justice Hill. Just no, Tyson. Tyson, the one from. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, son, the one. Oh, he's not oh, special. No, no, no. But he did. He looked special all the week. Now, that's so, flash. so. Yeah, you right about that. That's right all I'm that. saying. They making the average guy. To, man, because Alvin Kamara ain't ran like that since 2020 almost. You right. And then, so they making the average guy look special. You right. And that ain't got nothing to do with no skip, but the X and O. That's got to something with, to do with the Billies and the sorry ass Joe. Yeah. So what, what <laughs> we what we gonna do about old Jerry though? <laughs> man, we you gonna, know Jerry out here cock watching now. <laughs> hey man, I'm gonna what say we gonna like, do about Jerry? Man, measuring the man, looking at the man, wee wee. You know that's how he got to the squad. Well, I'm where, where, where that like come from, huh? I'm going to say it like this. Jerry is an owner. Jerry is rich. Jerry is of a certain ethnicity and a certain age. And I'm going to tell you like this. When he, what he said about Dak Prescott, I felt just like I did when I, you know, me and Yonta Pam had some properties down in Atlanta. Yeah. And we sold one of them. And I felt just like this here when the, when the guy said, what about your properties? I said, it's 4,200 square feet. Yeah. Three bedrooms. I yep. mean, four bedrooms. Three and a half baths, yeah. three car garage. I start describing it like this. So you describing Dak Prescott as a piece of property. He's six four, two twenty five. 225. He got nine to ten and a half, nine and a half inch hands. Yeah. Yang, his, his yang yang is such size. And that's what they used to do back in the old days. They would tell, they would, they would check, check your yang yang yeah. and your teeth and, and the, all that. So yeah. Jerry sounded like a property owner and he was talking like that was a piece of his property. That's just to me. That's yeah. just to, that's the way I felt. Yeah. As a more mature black man, I felt like he was talking like that, like that. I was mean, that's, a, I mean, that's like that, like that's the way they used to do Mandingo Warriors when, oh, my guy's six foot four, yeah. weigh 280. What size is your, oh, your Mandingo Warriors six five, two ninety. 290. What size is a yin yang? Yeah. I'm in a good TT guy. I'm just wondering, did Jamie Foxx not tell him he was on live? And I'm not excusing what he said. First off, I'd be pissed off more if you said something like to me in private. Yeah, yeah no <laughs> doubt. But I'm just saying. I, don't like, even talk to me like that, man. But do you think Jamie let let him know he was on live during that conversation? Because, I mean, Jamie just I don't know that, what kind as of As soon as he said that, the, 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 the whole live shut because down. Because I don't know Instagram what. Instagram live getting dudes in trouble yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or exposed right yeah, now. Yeah, because this is the thing. These Say, let me tell you something. Uncle ain't got no IG, no Facebook. These old ass men, they stay off of this technology. Yeah, man. well, I mean, it wasn't even Jerry Phone, though. It was Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx had, he was out there yeah. talking to Jerry. But but Jerry knew they was on IG. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry knew he was on IG? Yeah, Jerry knew that. I, I man, would hope so. I would hope First that Jamie Foxx put that disclaimer out there. I don't think Jamie Foxx just going to talk to Jerry and don't say, because when you talk to a certain type of people, you got to let them know, say, man, you live, you know. Yeah. You don't talk to billionaires and all these famous people and don't and let not them, let them know, know anything. They don't. Yeah, absolutely. Come on, Jerry knows absolutely, you're live. man. And, and, and Jerry just got caught up. And I'm just trying to think, what kind of relationship does Jamie and Jerry have that you feel comfortable Saying talking to, to me to about another man's yin yang? Saying that to that. Django. Yeah. Why Saying would that you? to J of all yeah. people, he said that to Django. Yeah. And, you know, and, and the only way, that, that activity. And the only reason that I think that you would do that is because you are comfortable talking like that. Yeah. Oh, you've had that if conversation you talking, before. If you ain't talking like that to me, you're probably talking like that to Steven. Yep. Oh, Steven, he's six four. He this and that. Did you did you check his so and so? Man. You know, I don't I don't know who he's talking to like that. Yeah. But he said it so smooth, that's not his first time talking like that. Yeah. I'm gonna say that. It, uh, <laughs> that's I, not I, his first time. I one hundred percent agree with you right there. <laughs> That, 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 that is a very uh, comfortable conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came out too easy. Came way, it came, came out, out way too easy. easy. So, who you got winning that game? Uh, you got I'm just going to pick the Cowboys because I'm from Dallas. Oh, them boys. You got them. You, yeah, you, I got them boys. You got them boys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick them boys too, yeah. man. I mean, then we've been beating up on New York. see. And I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. I've been saying that, hey, if they lose New York, we're talking about six, seven win season, man. Yeah, man. If they lose hey. I'm, Hey, I'm <laughs> – Cause I already saw Washington play, and if Jaden Daniels stays healthy, we we talking about a five win season, four or five win season. <laughs> Telling you that right now, just off my eyeballs and their effort. You know, oh, what I'm oh saying? yeah, now but I'm gonna be there. Now, to watch. If you, now watch. if you just want to strictly talk about effort, we talking about a no win season. Yeah, they gotta get way more effort than they even get yeah, five or man. six. Yeah, man, stop pointing the finger, man. Do your job. Stop pointing the finger, man. They, hey, because every time you point the finger, look at that. Yeah, you got three more pointing right back at you. Yeah, you know, 
You the problem. Absolutely. <laughs> Straighten Absolutely. out your sweep around your front porch before you come sweep around mine. Yeah, man. And if you're yeah. Jordan, you, you, you might have four pointing back at you because it's thumb. <laughs> You can yeah. point back a little further. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, mine used to point back a little further, but I got it. You know, <laughs> it's been it's been damaged before, so it don't go. Quite. That's them ninety degree thumbs. Yeah, you know I'm talking yeah. about them thumbs out there. But uh, we're gonna keep this train moving along, man. So uh, you know, there's a lot more going on in the NFL than the Dallas Cowboys. So, oh yeah, uh, I, don't, I don't know if you got a chance to see San Francisco. Also took an L this week. They're one and two, but they have several guys injured. So yeah, oh yeah. Brock Purdy didn't earn his check. <laughs> uh, oh, he started well, started out looking like he was going to earn his check. Well, you know this whole thing, Brandon. Now you definitely didn't learn, earn these his check. Guys, these guys, these all, all, all that about these guys can carry a team. That can't nobody carry no team by yourself. Yeah, you no doubt. Have some help. No doubt. I don't care who they are. No so, doubt. So, so Brock Purdy, you, you earning your check now, and you could, and you gonna play great, and y'all still gonna lose some more games because you ain't yeah. got enough help. Yeah, yeah. He need, he need a little, you know, Debo yeah. definitely. Debo oh, yeah. seems to be the primary factor when he's out. Like, nothing's uh-huh. riding him and uh, Trent Williams. Right? Ain't that the name? The the, the lineman? Yeah. Yeah, Trent. Yeah, yeah Trent big, Williams. big, big, big Trent Williams. Yeah. That's yeah. The, 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 the top paid uh-huh. offensive lineman. Yeah. That just bogarted himself into a, a bigger contract. I like that. Oh, yeah. And he a bully. Yeah, he a bully. You know, he slapped Richard Sherman. Yeah, he a big bully. Yeah. He big, I like that, though. I'm, I'm my old line I need my old lineman to be bullied. Yeah. Yeah, straight yeah. up all day and make sure my quarterback stay safe. Yeah, but um, but no. So you know the Rams went out there and beat them boys, man. Big one five had a big day. Brandon, you did not uh, for the 49ers. and uh, you know the Rams they keep coming up with these like random receivers, man, and just keep producing. Oh yeah, man, it look like they got another one this year. Uh, it, his name is I. I can't say his name. Ayo Ayo Ayo. It Whatever, sounds, I sounds saw, Japanese or something. Yeah, yeah, it sounds. But the, like but the boy called. I started looking for him in fantasy immediately, and uh, no luck, no luck. He was already taken up. So <laughs> well done by whoever grabbed him. You know what I'm saying? But then uh, Monday night, I got a chance to watch young Jaden Daniels take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh yeah. And you want to talk about a quarterback? Well, my boy had perfect numbers when he wasn't blitz at the time. I don't know if he finished the game like this, but at one point, I, I believe he was. Like nine for nine when they didn't send the blitz. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Throwing dimes downfield to the sideline, hitting guys in, oh in stride. Yeah. Showing me what a quarterback should look like. Who was he playing again? The Cincinnati Bengals. Oh yeah, Cincinnati Bengals overrated. They was in the Super Bowl two years ago. That two years ago, we talking about now. I'm just saying they still well, they got a squad last, out they, there. They didn't even make playoffs last year, so it don't matter. Cozy McCube, what's going down, man? As a Commanders fan, beat them Cowboys, hey uh, man, hey. Some of my best homies are Commanders fans, man. So those uh, are some hey. of the my last manager, hey, my yeah. baseball manager. I wore a Cowboys jersey to a game on a Sunday, and he scratched me out the lineup. True story. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, because he's a Redskins fan. Oh, or, I'm sorry, a Commanders fan. Yeah, it, it, right. it is what it is. I needed a day off anyway, but hey, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> you know? Hey, hey well, my, uh, my my pastor at church, at church is a Commanders fan, and he, yeah. always, and he always got the mic. I don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. He got the mic right now. Yeah, he got the mic, but I got the mic right now. Hey. I mean, you know, and this whole thing about all of these teams, man, I've had such a rich history with uh, all of them, man. You know, I, even though the Commanders has uh, – Always been a rivalry for the Cowboys. You know, when they were playing other people, man, I was pulling for them. And hey, they they look good right now. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. No yeah. doubt. Yeah. No doubt. I, like I like when uh when 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 Doug played for him, Doug Williams yeah, I liked them and Dennis Green that. and Yeah. Uh, they, they didn't have several several cats, man. They used to they old or they D line was ferocious back in the day. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, you know, I ain't I ain't just gonna sit here and say I'm a Redskins fan, but you know, when they was going to get some bills, if they playing somebody you know, else, then, yeah. then, I, I root for the East outside the Eagles. And then, the, then you know, back in those days, uh, I, every team had somebody from Texas. So, when they wasn't, I always pulled for Texas, guys. You know, the Redskins had Charlie Taylor. He's from Texas, man. Yeah. So, you know, I always. Oh, yeah. Now, nah, you know. but this Jaden Daniels kid, what y'all did is go out and get you a quarterback. Right? I didn't, I didn't know what the big fuss was about when he won the Heisman last year. Because I watched some of his games early in the season. When, you know, oh, yeah, Caleb won it the year before. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, Jane, Jane, Jane won it last year. And uh, I saw some of his games at LSU early in the season when they were losing and struggling. He was learning new new offense, you know, new coach, all that good stuff. And uh, 
I wasn't that impressed. And my homie Buck, you know, he from down there. And he like, hey, that boy Jaden Daniels real. I'm like, Jaden Daniels, bro, you sure? The same cat that I saw that looked real unsure every time I watched him play. Like, the kid, poise, accuracy, oh, yeah. you know, athletic, getting first downs and stepping out of bounds, getting first downs and sliding. They said he hates to slide, but I saw him slide the other night. But this is a whole thing. Getting away from pressure, got his eyes downfield. Uh, hitting dudes in the chest. It don't matter what you like doing or what you hate doing. It's what you need to do. And he gets it, it done. It, so doing what you need to do is, yeah. is more important than doing what you like to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Or what you dislike to do. And, and we're going to get to that later when we talk about Anthony Joshua. Yeah, because because Lamar needs to learn how to get down. Oh, That's Lamar, his Lamar, Lamar Jackson needs to learn how to slide because yeah. he's trying to get every inch. Something, I mean, no, yeah, some, he got to protect the asset. Yeah. And that's what Jaden Daniels is doing very yeah, well. Sometimes Lamar is his own greatest enemy because he's so good. Yeah, he absolutely. He, he that always much athleticism think, is hard to, yeah, he to not think you can score right now. Yeah, he always thinks he can do now. something. And then, and, and, you know, and and it's hard to realize, okay, in this situation, I can't do nothing. Let me give it up. Yeah. And, and that's hard for somebody that's always doing something. Yep, no doubt, yeah. no doubt. But, but I didn't even bring the bring up, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Like you say, he's a rookie, and he's already picked it up. Lamar, you know, you got to. And let's not even talk about Dak, because mm-hmm. everything Dak doesn't do, he already showed. He he did it at a high level against on, on Monday night in the bright lights against Joe Burrow, the former LSU quarterback. That's what his thing was. He was like, bro, I, I keep hearing Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow this, Joe Burrow that. I just wanted to beat him. He just wanted to beat him. He wanted to come out there and dominate Joe Burrow, and that's what he did. And I know he didn't play against Joe Burrow because Joe Burrow ain't on defense, yeah. but he beat the team that he's quarterback oh, for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Cincinnati ain't no slouch, you know? Them boys been pretty good recently. Now they got some things, some 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 mess going on, and that's actually who the receiver plays for. I was talking about uh, the I I I I on this, whatever his name is. Yeah. Uh, that guy plays for Cincinnati. He doesn't play for the Rams, uh, but the Rams still got Young Buck from last year out of Hawaii, the Hawaiian yeah. kid. But um, but no nah, man, like you know, he he went out there and competed and, and, and beat a, a pretty good team. You know, they still got Jamar Chase. They still got T. Higgins. They, they, three. Don't, they don't have Joe Mixon no more. Yeah, they 0-3 right they now. They're 0-3, so they're looking bad they right now. They're 0-3, so, you know, hey, I said all that to say, hey, Dallas Cowboys, <laughs> you can take them two wins if y'all don't start playing any better. Those those, those are not two sure wins anymore is all I'm saying. Washington's defense wasn't that good. They still getting used to Dan Quinn's new defense over there, but they got an offense that can – there were no punts in that game the other night. Zero. No, I, I didn't even realize that. No punts in that game. Oh, okay. So that so that means wasn't nobody stopping nobody. Hey, oh, you got two good out. You got two good quarterbacks. They can maintain the drive. Joe Burrow and Jaden Daniels. Yeah, that's what that means. No, no. It's got to mean that. I seen Josh Allen and and and, and uh, 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 Patrick Mahomes play with some punts in that game. Well, yeah, you know it's, I mean? it's, it's massive that, defense going yeah, on, I mean, too. you got some elite quarterbacks. Yeah, quarterback, nobody, nobody was but stopping nobody. But you nobody. got – I'm, I'm going to say this. That was a more of a defensive problem than it was great quarterbacking when you don't have no punch in the NFL. I, I'm going to say, say Jay to Daniels me. is to this me. year's C.J. Stroud is what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. He, he is the he's the one at the draft. Yeah, yeah. Like straight up. Yeah, he's the yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, Washington got him a quarterback. But I still think well that done, a Magic game Johnson. with no punch is more of a defensive problem than it is a great quarterback. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. they had two good quarterbacks against average defenses, I'll say. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, because Joe Burrow is a good quarterback, but like I say, he went to the Super Bowl two years ago. Last year he didn't make it because he didn't have enough help. Yep. Well, well done. Well, well done, Magic yeah. Johnson, on getting that, grabbing that guy now. It was another game on Monday night, uh, and Josh Allen is, uh-huh. is like he got to be an early pre, <laughs> an early MVP right now, early season MVP. That boy is looking uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right. overrated. Yeah. He looking overrated. No, Not man. even close. What was it forty seven to ten man, against man. the Jags over over Trevor Lawrence? Man, if uh, if, if 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 Josh Allen just cut down on some of his turnover, man, Josh Allen. Just, I mean, even with the turnover, was he phenomenal? I think man. he had five different dudes to score a touchdown yeah, the other night. He always do. Yeah, now now the digs ain't there. Yeah, for now sure. the digs ain't there crying and dropping passes and fumbling. Yeah. You know. My young buck out of Florida State, Keon Coleman, on my fantasy squad, got him a touchdown, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he, he, he's spreading the ball around, and that's fun to watch a quarterback. You know a quarterback in his zone when he starts doing stuff like that. Oh, yeah. You know, spreading that thing man. around the field like that. Uh, uh, you know, and, and when they voted Josh Allen the most overrated player, I was like, that's just on 
That's personal. That ain't yeah. that ain't on talent. Yeah. No yeah. way you're not gonna tell me that. Yeah, man. No yeah. doubt. No doubt. Now I appreciate you saying something and shout talking your ears, cozy. For sure, bro. For sure, talking your ears. We love that. Oh yeah. Anybody to talk your shit. I mean, talk your ish. <laughs> if you're out there, if you see you something, say, say something. something. <laughs> you know, we we in the building, man. If you haven't uh, joined or subscribed, man, we got memberships you can join or hit that subscription button, man, and see what we all about. Get you a test run before you go on and hit that join because yeah. we just like to have fun over here, big dog. Yeah, you know? and uh, Trip, while you're out there, man, I, I hope you went back and looked on that uh, ring the bell on Jamal Wilkes, man. Yeah, man, got, hey, got familiar hey, with the young Because boy. we actually started ringing the bell on football players. Last week we rung the bell on Gail Sale. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, we're gonna keep it going in this NFL, man. So Sam Donald went there, got him another win. My boy 3-0 and destroyed the Texans this weekend. I didn't see that coming. Obviously, I didn't pick him to win last week. And I didn't even check the records from last week. I didn't want to either because I had a bad day. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I had last a, week. I think we were about 7 and 9 or something, <laughs> yeah. something like that. Yeah. It, and so we still trying to, you know, we getting our feet wet. I feel like uh, was my boy Nick Saban when he was on the – uh, game day when he was like, man, you got me out here picking blind right now. We don't know enough about these teams. We're yeah, make yeah, a pick. It's a new who, season. Yeah, and you then, know, so. really, to me, yeah, the cream ain't going to come to the crop to by game seven. Yeah. Game six or seven, it's going to start. Because, man, because sometimes Pittsburgh be looking horrible. I, uh, then next thing you know, Pittsburgh make a run for the playoffs. The same Ravens that just beat us. Lost to the Las Vegas Raiders last yeah, week. Yeah, last week. That's what I'm talking about. So Who went out and, and lost to the... Andy Dalton led Carolina Panthers this week. Yeah, so that's why I say it's not it's, till about game six or seven. It's just gonna be a lot of craziness going yeah, on. Craziness. Yeah, and then after about game seven, yeah, you got to kind of figure out who's kinda, who's yeah. who, right? Who's who? Who's and, and you can go at nine seventeen games. You can go even a little further than that by game eight or nine. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then you know because you got maybe. injuries and you got look, yeah. Davin Cook ain't even. I don't know what Davin Cook's gonna be like, but I hope he's like his brother up in Buffalo. Cause right. that young buck is toting the rock for them boys. First man. thing, you gotta get some blocking, man. Yeah, you gotta get some blocking. These boys gotta man. develop over the next few weeks. They gotta yeah. do get some discipline, something. Yeah, something gotta yeah. shake, man. Yeah, something, something gotta, shake, gotta shake, shake, man. Something gotta shake. That's yeah. a fact. But we're gonna keep this train rolling on to the next subject, which is the good, the bad, and the ugly. What was the good, bad, and ugly for you this week, huh? Man, you know, uh, the good. DK Metcalf. Yeah. I mean, I saw DK Metcalf be a number one receiver. Oh, that's yeah, that's huge for that young buck. I mean, it wasn't uh, I don't think he caught that he caught by four passes, four hundred and something yards, but he did what he took the ball from a DB, took them, just manhandled him, took the ball away, and then the guy was on the side of him, then he sprinted away from him. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and then uh, Man, then, uh that's crazy. another pass he, he went across he the middle. DK. Yeah, caught it. He got hit. Hell, I mean, I'm just saying he was just a number one receiver that's playing like a number one receiver. Uh, that's and that was watch. good for me because I just turned off a all oh, that yeah. on the <laughs> Yeah, C.D. Lamb. <laughs> you know. That C.D. Lamb reference, if you uh, didn't know what that was. And, right the, and the bad. I hate to harp on the Cowboys. But hey, the he's ugly out the, there too now. The, the, the bad was the Cowboys defense. Oh, my God. Is something uglier than that out there? I, 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 that's bad, bad. I said okay, that. No, bad, okay, yeah. yeah, you yeah. Know, that, that defense was bad. Yes, man. it was. They Like I said, like, they couldn't stop Dishwater from going out to sink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stopper right there. It's a stopper. You not not stopper. on that squad. Hey, hey, you got a stopper and a dish tile. <laughs> You can even go country style and ball the dish tile up in there. And put yeah, that top. yeah. Or you can put it. They couldn't do either. Nothing. So that defense Nothing. was bad, bad, yeah. bad, bad. And, and what's your ugly for the week, huh? Back to the Cowboys. Oh, team. boy. Man, the ugly was CD. That was Ooh. ugly. That on the ground kicking like a little girl, man, like a child. Last time I seen that, I think I was in um, Kroger and this lady – who told her daughter, you can't have no can, the baby fell on the ground. So, did some, just like CD did. Yeah. I mean, come on, CD. I understand you frustrated. But first off, you play great and you can show your frustration. Yeah. But when you play an average, you can't show your frustrations like that. Yeah, you can't. You know, you and, can't, that's, and that's ugly. Yeah, and that's real ugly. So, you know, that was the ugly for me. And I hate to 
Because last week the Cowboys was the bad and the ugly. Until they play better, they probably going to be the bad Man, and the ugly. Yeah. I mean, you know. And, Man, and the field number good one reason. receiver, that good was, I turned over there and I called. I said, that's the number one receiver player. Like, yeah. You know, we, going hard. Yeah. Going hard. Yeah. No, I that. love that. I yeah. love that. So, uh, for me, uh, the good – uh, had to be um, Andy Dalton. Who expected Andy Dalton to go out there and beat the Raiders this week? <laughs> That's a former Cowboys oh, yeah. backup, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dak yeah, Prescott backup out there winning games. You yeah. know? Oh, yeah. Uh, but who – who? I don't know anybody that expected the Carolina Panthers to win that game after the start that Bryce Young's had where they have looked atrocious. There's only one person that I could think that he might have thought he was going to win. Andy Dalton. Cole McCoy. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Jason no. Garrett might. Hey, because Andy Dalton and Cole McCoy is almost the same guy to me. Man, you I think mean, so? You know, I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Yeah. They yeah. had great college careers and yeah. they kind of, you know, been oh, yeah. going around career backups. And, and and guess what? Cole McCoy came in and won some games, too. Oh, absolutely he did. So that's why I said Cole McCoy. Absolutely he did, man. I'm just teasing man. on that. Cole I knew he had more of a chance than everybody else knew he had. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Uh, so that that's got to be my good, uh, my 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 bad. It's got to be the Jacksonville Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence, man. Trevor Lawrence, you also got paid them big bucks. Uh, you also got that two hundred million dollar deal this off season, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, and uh, you're zero and three right now. You know, so that ain't what they paid for. You know, all the excuses, all the talk, all the other. That's out the window, bro. It's time for you to put them up or put put them up and shut up, bro. Put up and shut up, man. Like straight up, you know. Uh, Josh Allen showed you what it really is. You know, I think they came out the same year in the draft, or yeah. close to it, right? And uh, they was talking a lot more about Trevor Lawrence than they were about than they were about Josh Allen. Yeah, because so, Josh Allen is from North Dakota. Yeah, yeah, he's from yeah, a smaller yeah, college. Yeah, just smaller school. Yeah, right. So Josh Allen, you know, he he's balling, Trevor, and you're not, you're not, bro. You know, it's about you got plenty of weapons around you. Right, you got a coach that you say you like now. Now that uh, what's his face that was up down there messing him up from Ohio State, uh, Florida, Urban Meyer. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. that Urban Meyer is no longer down there, which you you got Doug Peterson. There's the shown he knows how to win a Super Bowl, right? So uh, you got no excuses at this point, man. It's your second year with Doug. Y'all should know each other. He should know you a lot better. So you know, Trevor Lawrence, you're my bad for the week and the ugly of the week. It's got to be Dak Prescott. You know, I'm a harp on CD, yeah. but not CD Lamb. All them C and D throws you had like, this past weekend, bro. I didn't see any other quarterback, starting quarterback, especially making the money that you're making, look so poorly. Missing Zeke on a third and seven, wide open on a flat. I don't know one pass you threw accurately in that last game. Not one, bro. So... Yeah, that's my ugly, man. You know, it's been ugly. It's been ugly for the past seven years, as I'm concerned. And I can't believe the Cowboys signed up for FOMO. What are y'all thinking about, man? You know what? You know why they signed up for FOMO? Why is that? I guess who leading the league in passing yards? No, no, no. Again, Dak. <laughs> Dak, one and two. All them shallow yards. Y'all, y'all been, y'all been, y'all been. Freaking crucifying me for saying he got shallow yards and throw all these yards when they don't count and when they don't matter. You know what I'm saying? He's a he's a uh, uh, analytics god dog on king, right? Y'all been y'all been saying everything about me when I come out here and call it for what it is. One day y'all gonna wake up and see what I've been saying for the past. Y'all just slow. You know that's why I got an innovative tech company, right? It's my job to see into the future. And I already saw this dude right here. Wasn't it? Ain't been there since he been here. You know, y'all looking at the, the numbers and all the other stuff after the game. I'm looking at the plays. I'm looking at the fundamentals. I'm looking at the lack thereof. Seven, eight years deep into the game. This dude still ain't got it. But I'm going to get off deck, man. Hey, <laughs> if you want to know exactly what I'm talking about, come holla at me. And I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about, man. It ain't that hard to see. It ain't that hard to see. But we're going to keep this thing moving on. Uh-oh. What I'm doing? Behind us, behind us yeah. just went energetic like it likes to do at times. Making sure we stand on point. But, uh, yep. Keep, I mean, hey, that's keep the Keeping this thing rolling. Keeping keep this thing rolling, man. Moving on. Moving on. So, on uh, to the next one. <laughs> let, me, let me turn this back on right there. That's back on. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we got a, we got the uh, quick picks. Rapid fire right now. Huh? Rapid fire. Who you got this week? Brought to you. Hold up. 
by Bet US, man. Go and hit that QR code down there and put your bets in with us, man. You know, uh, we solid on these picks, or we're gonna get more and more solid as the weeks go on, and we understand who's out there. Oh, Last yeah. week wasn't a good week, but uh, the week before yeah, we was still got it. Uh, we still got to research. Let them know what we did. I feel like our best week. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll let you know. We'll let you yeah. know. We'll, we'll best come back and put our records on. Best week's yet to come. Yeah, yeah. Uh. So rapid fire. Giants, Cowboys, who you got, huh? Oh, yeah, I got the Cowboys just because I'm from, I'm in Dallas. I'm gonna stick with them all the time too. As long as they got Daniel Jones up there, I got the I got the uh, the Cowboys as well, man. They got Malik Neighbors and that that you know the the Dewan Robinson, so they you know they solid up there. So we'll see what's up. But I got the Cowboys in this one. Uh, Pittsburgh and Indianapolis, who you got? Pittsburgh. I'm with you on Pittsburgh. They're playing in Indianapolis, but it's all good. We got Jacksonville in Houston. Who you got on? Huh? Houston. I'm with you on that as well. I got Houston in that game. We got Kansas City versus the Chargers. Ooh, that's a tough one. I got Kansas City. Oof. I got Kansas City till they lose. And then when they lose, I still got them next week because they ain't going to lose two in a row. I got Kansas City. Hey, I got Kansas City. You see what I got on my head right now? I'm wearing it for a reason, man. We Dallas, yeah, Texas around here. Kansas, Kansas City, City Chiefs, baby. Let's get it. Uh, who else we got? Let me see. Uh, next up, got all kinds of things firing off at me right now. Uh, next on the on the docket, we got the New Orleans Saints versus the Falcons. Who you got on? I got the Falcons. You got the Falcons? How we looking right there? I'm going to say we ain't responding for some reason. Let me turn this thing off real quick. Make sure we good. Give us a chance. Got to give yeah, us a chance right here. Yeah, we good? We yeah. solid? Yeah. Right on, right on, right on. Yeah, keep it. I'm getting signals over here telling me things that ain't true. So, uh, next up, we got the Denver Broncos and the New York Jets. Who you got? Bo Nix versus Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I'm going to take the Jets. I'm gonna take like, the Jets. Is that? I don't like yeah, Rogers yeah. like that, but I'm gonna take the Jets. I'm gonna take the Jets as well, man. Aaron Rodgers looked really good. I picked against him last week just because it was Rodgers, but now I gotta quit doing that. I'm yeah, gonna pick the Jets. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna be an easy one. It's not gonna no. be an easy one because uh, Denver messed around and, and beat Baker Mayfield last week. I didn't expect that. Uh, and then we got the Commanders versus the Cardinals versus the Kyler Murray's. Who you got in that one? I'm gonna take. Um, I'm going to take the Cardinals. I'm going to take the Cardinals as well on that yeah. one. I'm going to take the Cardinals as well just because Kyler Murray can match Jaden Daniels' production. Yeah. Jaden putting up points, though. Uh, and then we got the Bills and the Ravens. Who you got? I got the Bills. I got the Ravens. You know what it is. Yeah, I got the Bills. Hey, Mark, you know, I ain't catching you during the show, but Mark said black and purple make blue. No, it don't, dog. Make dark purple. You know what I'm saying? But black and... Black and red make purple. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or blue and red make purple. Uh, oh, yeah. You know? is what I'm saying. Uh, then we got, looks like the Buccaneers. Versus the I'm sorry, the, the Rams versus the Bears. Who you got, huh? Oh, I got the Rams. I can't go with the Browns on nothing. Man. Oh, Browns, man. Browns looking terrible. I got to go with the Rams. Whew. Browns looking horrible. Yeah. And then the Rams got some Stafford and some good receivers. So, yeah, I'm going to go with the Rams. Yeah, I take, I take the Rams in this one right now, man. At this point in the season, I take the Rams. Because Caleb Williams is still growing and learning. Uh, then we got the Buccaneers versus the Eagles. Who you got, huh? I got the Eagles. All right. All right. Next up, we got the 49ers. Who you got? Who you got? Oh man, Buccaneers and the Eagles. Oh man, Eagles went out there had a good game this past weekend. Yeah, the Eagles got a solid squad. That's Playing in Tampa Bay, I'm gonna take the Buccaneers okay, coming off it. that loss. Okay, I got. I don't you. know if Baker Mayfield had too many losses in a row like that. Yeah. You know, uh, outside of Cleveland anyway. Uh, and then we got uh, the Patriots and the 49ers. Who you got on? Man, the Patriots been looking bad. I'm gonna go to Forty Nine. 49ers ain't been looking that good either, but I'm going to 49ers too. Yeah, Brandon right. Jennings over the Jennings. Uh, what it Jennings? That's still 15. got a solid defense. They got proved it, so I think that's enough. Are you got to step? They pay that man thirty million a year. He got to step up, do something. Yeah. Are you got to do something? The man, all that money ain't doing nothing, man. And, and Jennings is the one making the plays. Uh, then we got the Titans versus the Dolphins. Who you got, huh? The quarterback. Well, we two, quarter. two and heel down, ain't you? Ain't Tyreek out? Is is Tyreek out? I don't think Tyreek played last week. I'm oh man, that's not good. Well, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take the Titans. I'm taking the Titans in that yeah. one. Yeah. Oof. This hard for me to go with this. Man, Miami with without two and without. It. Man, I went with the Titans last week and they got me. They they let me down. So I'm taking Miami, man. I'm okay. taking Miami. I don't okay. believe in the Titans no more. Y'all ain't not two times. Not two times. Uh, if it was the Cowboys, I had to go with you, but you ain't. But uh, the Vikings versus Green Bay. Who you got in that one? Vikings. In Green Bay. In Green Bay. I think the Vikings three and zero, ain't they? Yeah. I gotta take the Vikings. Vikings. Let's the Vikings. Vikings look good, man. Man, man. I gotta go I with mean, the team. Green Bay. 
And then uh, somebody hurt for Green Bay, though. Yeah, the hey, quarterback, Jordan yeah, Love. Yeah, he yeah. might be back this week. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go with yeah. But they got Malik Willis out there, and he's a, he ain't, he ain't, nah. no, he ain't no slouch. No, nah, well, he ain't, no. Nah, I, I, I got a lot Minnesota. better than he did in Tennessee. I gotta go with Minnesota. You going to Minnesota? That's, yeah. Sam Donald looking pretty good up there. <laughs> I can't, you know, it's, but I, you know, I don't want them to, I don't want them to win. So I'm going with the Titans on that one right there. I'm going with the Titans on that one, and then we got not the, the, not the, not the, not the Titans, it's going Green Bay. Yeah, I'm sorry, Green Bay, Green yeah. Bay. My bad, I'm going Green Bay on that one. Then we got uh, who is this? The Bengals and the Panthers. Who that's? I'm gonna go with the Bengals, man. Absolutely. I'm going <laughs> they only three, but I gotta go with them over the Panthers. Yeah, the man. Panthers ain't showing much. They showed a little mm-hmm. life. You know, them boys from Vegas got away and still somehow kicked it in Carolina. It seems that way anyway. But uh, then we have the Browns and the Raiders. Who you got on? God. Ah. <laughs> Where they playing at? In Las Vegas. I'm gonna go with the Raiders. I'm gonna go with the Raiders. Going with the Raiders. Cleveland looking horrible, man. Man, I'm gonna go with the Browns, man. I'm expecting them to turn it around yeah, a little bit and do something. I know, yeah, I know Deshaun can get them yeah, a size. Yeah, I like Vegas. the Browns. I want them to turn it around, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the Raiders. Like I said, I know Deshaun can get them a massage in Vegas, so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Browns, man. Got no doubt he can get them a good one. Uh, and then last game we got the Seahawks and the and the uh, Lions. Solid game right there. Seahawks undefeated too, I think. Mm-hmm. And the Lions are two and one. Yeah, it's gonna be a solid one. They're, they playing, they're playing in Detroit. I'm, I'm taking Detroit. I'm taking Detroit. I'm taking Detroit as well. Huh? Yeah, Detroit got a solid squad, man, and they're well coached. Yeah, I'm taking Detroit yeah. as well. And I'm gonna take Detroit. So those, those are our picks for the week. So hey, y'all going over to Bet US, man? Hit this QR code right here, man, and then sign up if you haven't signed up. Place your bets, man. That's what we're going with for the week. But uh, we're going to keep this train riding, man. So we're talking about a little Nunes Fantasy Football this week real quick. As mentioned before, me and Unc both took L's this week. Oh. Yes, sir. So right now, Yezerski is on top of the league. Uh, you know, leading currently undefeated him. And uh, I believe it's, uh, is it Goo Punch or Trip? One or two. Yeah, I, I think it's Trip. I'm not sure. I think, I think it's Goo. Yeah, no, Goo Punch. Uh, Goo Punch is uh, second place, really first place, because he's also undefeated. Uh, and then, uh, you know, everybody's just, more, you know, kind of in there two and one, one and two. Still early in the season. I took L. Christiana got that dub this week, uh, the, the defending champ, so she's still coming strong. Trip, you got lucky, dog. You got lucky, dog. That's all I got to say. I don't know how you got lucky, but you got lucky is what I'm going to tell you. But you, you, you got that win this week, but I'm coming for you next week, dog. And Goo Punch, boy, I got more points than you. How are you 3 and 0? I don't know, boy. You, hey, you been take you. You been a bullet so far, man. You been a bullet, that, dog. Man. Timing, timing, boy. Yeah. Playing that right person hey, at the man. right time. It ain't about how much you score; it's when you score. What Absol- you score. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going down, man. It, like like we mentioned before, we got two of our uh, subscribers, man. Some of our loyals, man. Uh, some members playing in our league this year. That's how we get down, man. We just want to keep it a keep it an interactive yeah, experience yeah, for yeah, everybody. Interactive Have a for great everybody. time with everybody. And, uh, yeah, you know how it's going down. And it is going down. But we're going to keep this thing moving along, man. So, um. Yes, sir. You know what time it is. Oh, we're going we to ring the bell. Wait, Dicka Jones was a, well, uh, like I say, was a, a defensive force. And he changed the defensive end position to a pass rushing athletic position. And that's what he's actually known for. He coined the phrase sack yeah. and uh and i'm gonna say this about dick jones this is just my personal opinion about him you talking about guys that love the game yeah you know and um you know when i hear guys now say they love the game i can't tell because the way you play and the way you feel about the game and uh deacon jones was um uh, one of those guys that was so passionate about the game because i'm Guys back then didn't make millions and millions of dollars. So they played for pride. Yeah. They wanted to be the best. And Deacon Jones was, was one of those guys because I saw Deacon Jones 20, 25 years after he retired from the uh, NFL. And when you start talking about sacking the quarterback, he would start sweating. Yeah, wow. he, was on, he was on ESPN. Uh, <laughs> he was an older man. He was in his 60s. And he started talking about quarterbacks and quarterbacks sweating. And they said, uh, 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 he said, give me a towel because I talk about quarterbacks that 
that give me. <laughs> he yeah. got wound up at age 60 talking about sacking the quarterback. And this is one other thing that uh, this ain't no ain't no statistic to this, but during the time that Deacon, Deacon Jones played defensive end, the head slap was legal. The and head he, slap? Yes, and he was one of the main reasons that the head slap became illegal yeah. because when uh, he would slap guys on Sunday so many times in the head till their ears would still be ringing on Tuesday and Wednesday. Wow. Got that head slap illegal and uh he was just phenomenal and uh when you look him up look up deacon jones you're not gonna find him up under david but david is his government name and he was a phenomenal and when you see all these defensive ends putting pressure on the quarterback and uh, and then when you see him getting this big money for for being a, a pass rushing defensive end they can go thank david deacon jones for that man that's i mean that's that's wild man because that dude there is uh you know, I I didn't know. First of all, you know, I, I didn't know his name was David. I thought his name was Deacon. No, his name David. That's first and foremost. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I knew he was that dude. Oh yeah, you he know? was that dude. Bef- you know, he was a he, like I say, he was an innovator of the defensive end. Yeah. Position changing from just like the defensive end used to be just like a tackle playing side by side with yeah. each other. Yep. But then when they had this. He was the first defensive end that I saw. I'm not gonna say the first one that he was split out wide and take that angle. Yeah, and he, he you know, he was just an innovator. Yeah, you I know. mean that's that Von Miller approach. You know, yeah. the speed oh, rush oh, guys. Oh, oh yeah, he was speed. that we see now. Yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, changing the game, man. And you don't hear enough about dudes that came along changing the game and making opportunities available. Hey, appreciate you again, Trip. Hey, sorry, sorry about the buzz, bro. Let us know, please. Let us know if it come back, man. Oh, Trying yeah. to corral all that good stuff, but yeah, man, that's. That's ring the bell, man. Deacon Jones was a dog. Oh yeah, dog. Hey, he was a dog of dogs, man. Yeah, man. I mean, he was uh all these guys that you see, I'm gonna say it like this. If you took uh I would say Charles Haley, <laughs> Michael Strahan, and rolled them all up together, you might have a Deacon Jones. Yeah, wow. I mean, yeah. That's, that's, crazy. that's the kind of dude he was. That's crazy. I mean, that's the kind of dude he was. That's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. To, crazy to think about that, man. Because that, all those guys you just named were very talented, and they had different characteristics. You know what I mean? That, oh, yeah. that made them very oh, yeah. talented people, man. So, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm checking. I'm checking to make sure we just sound good. It feels like there's been like you a, know, a and Michael, pause or something going on. And Michael yeah. Strahan was more of a. You know what I mean? Oh, well, I'll say this: Charles Haley was more of a wild man, just. But but Charles Haley used his intelligence too, yeah, because he was one of his more smart people. But oh, he was very cerebral, yeah. But uh, he was an intimidating. Uh, he was yeah, a type Michael, basic yeah, yeah. But he was guy. he he was smart enough to know that he got to use his physical presence mm-hmm. to intimidate them guys. Yeah, and he wasn't scared to use yeah. it either. Oh, oh no, he at wasn't. The same, so. At the same time, man. Oh yeah. But yeah, that's that's ring the bell right there, man. Hope y'all enjoyed that. I enjoyed every week, man. Like I said, I. I learned something every time we have a ring the bell. That's why we brought it back for the football season, man. Yeah, we got it you know, in basketball. Got to pay tribute to the guys in the past. You know, yeah. they, they, they built a bridge for these guys that are currently doing it right now, making these big checks. You feel me? So moving along to the NCAA, man. A lot going on last week. Uh, great, great weekend. Uh, where's my where my where my topic at, man? Where my topic at, man? Great weekend in NCAA football, though. Um, Notre Dame came out, did what they do, man. They handled their business uh, against Miami of Ohio. It wasn't that easy of a game. It wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. But uh, we made it out alive. I say that much, man. Like, I wasn't that impressed by what I saw uh, out of our defense and, and, um, you know, again, out of our quarterback. Like, there's nothing to be uh, just overly excited about, man. The kid is still... He's figuring it out, man. He's figuring it out. But luckily, he's got several. I thought it was two good running. We got like three or four running backs that can tote that rock oh, yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. Notre Dame got some good backs. Yeah. Yeah. We got, let, me, let me change it. Let me change this out real quick. Let me bring my friend up, you know. Because we have been getting dubbed. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. We got a big game coming up this week, man. We need as much positive energy as possible as we take on Louisville, who crushed us last year, man. But we got to get that dub this week, man. Get that good fighting Irish energy going. What's going down, huh? So what's who, going down? So who? So who? Right now, who's Notre Dame biggest rival? Biggest rival? You talking about on the schedule this season? 
Yeah. Oh, just period. Just period. We got several. That's hard to say. Uh, Cause I got my own teams that I hate. Uh, USC is one of them for sure. Uh, got us. Don't talk no more. That's Notre Dame biggest rival. Yeah, yeah. Been no, going back to the '60s. OJ yeah, Simpson. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. OJ Simpson running his, yeah. against Notre Dame. That was boy, that was big. Yeah, man, yeah. we got we got to ring the bell coming up on OJ. Too. Do we all do one on OJ? No, we ain't done one on OJ. No, nah, we yet. only we only did uh, last week. Yeah, sales yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, we can do OJ. We got we, we got, got OJ coming guys. up sometime. And this then season. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some guys they ain't never heard of before. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like. That's what yeah. I like because you a know? lot of a lot of these young guys ain't heard of David Deacon Jones, which is I mean, crazy. I mean, you know, cause uh, uh we had uh, that was trip, so he didn't know who uh, Jamal Wilkes was. Jamal Wilkes, bro. So, so yeah, Come go on, go back, and then trip when you when you go back and look at those basketball ones, man. Look at the one on Nate Archibald. Yeah. I did one on Nate Archibald, uh, Rick Barry, and uh, some other guys. Go back and look at all that, man. This yeah, is it's, it's a good. Uh, and then then it's good for me to reminisce. And remember what those guys have done, because sometimes, you know, I forget about those guys. And then when I really go back and do the research, it match everything that I remember. Yeah, no because doubt. These guys were most of these guys that we're gonna ring the bell on. We're not gonna ring the bell on average guys. We're gonna ring the bell on nothing but special guys, guys that made a difference in the game. Ringing that bell, man. Yeah. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know how we getting down with the get downs as well. So. Uh, but yeah, man. Now, nah, so we, you know, that was a special one. That was a special one. But uh, also, like I mentioned, Notre Dame got that dub. Stuck to the run game. That's how we're gonna win this season. Defense played well against a, you know, a opponent we should have beat, the Miami Red Hawks, what they call them, better known as Miami of Ohio. Uh, my uh, Notre Dame, just like the dis- well, disrespect know, Miami, the Miami Ohio Hurricanes, got a pretty good history, man. They, they not doing, they ain't no really? joke. Yeah, yeah, Miami of Ohio. Okay. They, they. I mean, I'm, I'm saying going way back. Way back, my mama, I mean, I they didn't have know that. whatever. That's news you know, to they me. They was always was a smaller school. Yeah, but they've been but, around for but a minute. Miami of Ohio, Appalachian State, and Marshall, they will play you, man. Yeah. they will, I mean, this goes back 20, 30, 40 years. They will play you. Yeah. You know, man. so, and when you got a history, you may fall off, but you, you will eventually work your way back to yeah. being decent. Yeah. That's what, that's what I think, you know. Oh, yeah. And my mama of Ohio got a, got a rich football history. Man, you know? that's yeah. what's up. That's what, that's good to know. That's, yeah, that's news yeah. to me oh, right yeah. there. Oh yeah. Uh, and then uh, Florida State went out and got a abysmal win against Cal Berkeley this week, fourteen to nine. Uh, DJ <laughs> ugly. <laughs> it still ain't getting it done, man. Got got it done just enough to get that win, but I think that's more so about Cal Berkeley than it is about Florida State. Obviously. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I think too. But yeah, Cal they, Berkeley. Is- they're it's down. Abysmal, yeah. It ain't Aaron Rodgers, Marshawn Lynch, Justin <laughs> Forsett, Cal Berkeley these days. Uh, Deshaun Jackson. It ain't them boys. I no, promise no, you that. No, no, uh, they, they they're down right now, but uh, they got. They it got ain't them. even my boy Steve Williams from Skyline. Man, he went to Cal and played for San Diego. It's not even them. It might it might be some J- Jalen Browns out there on the field, some basketball players <laughs> out there getting ran over. Yeah, but. <laughs> You know, that's a shot at the whole basketball and oh, football yeah. tape oh, that, that yeah, everybody yeah. been talking about. But, yeah, and then Arch Manning went out, uh, had a decent game, uh, and beat Lafayette. Two touchdowns, had two interceptions in this game. Uh, Eli Manning let it be known that he had the greatest Manning game, opening game, first game as a starter ever uh, in college football. Had five touchdowns and, you know, I think over 300 yards pass and no interceptions uh-huh. is what Eli Manning did. But yeah. he let that be known, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. After old Archie went out there and had the two interceptions and the two touchdowns, I thought that was pretty funny. I like Eli, man. He, oh, yo, y'all like he, Eli, he, he too, because, chill. you know, because what, uh, <laughs> what Eli said that, look, I don't know who wrote that for him. He said, they say ready to go, but I beat him twice, so what the, I must be nice. You know what I'm saying? I must be nice. Got to be nice, twice. man. That, I mean, that's and those are facts. <laughs> yeah, that's Check fact. those analytics. Hey, that is just like you know, it was an old show on TV called Dragnet. Yeah, and they had a uh, which which was a police show. Yeah, and they had a sergeant on there called Sergeant Friday. Yeah, and he'd be most of the time he would say this to women and say nothing against no, say no gender slander, and they would he, he would be talking to the ladies and then he'd say. What happened, such so, so, and then she'll be like, "What well, this happened, that happened." He say, "Just the facts, ma'am. Just, just the facts. facts. Yeah, that, that that's just the facts. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, that's just, don't, just the don't facts. need none of the extra uh, in there. Yeah, just the facts. Just the facts. Yeah, I don't I don't need none of the uh, beautifulies or none of the ly words. We don't need to dress them up. Oh, I just yeah. need to, I need the facts. The facts. That's it. Stick to the point, man. To the script. But yeah, Arch got that win against Lafayette this weekend, as he should have. 
if you had an opportunity to go out and watch or if you had a chance to see that Colorado Buffaloes versus Baylor game, that was quite a treat, man. You know, that game, I thought Baylor had that game won, just like a lot of people. And then Shadour comes out, and that wasn't – a lot of people say Hail Mary. That was not a Hail Mary. That was a design pass. And you can tell by the, the way, the trajectory in which he threw that pass. It was a laser, and it was on time. And it was calculated. And they found a hole. They had a great scheme to put Travis on the right side. They knew he'd get all the attention. They put number 10, Wester, on the left side. And he just beat his man one-on-one. And Shadur rolled out. He went, went here a couple, couple a little, like a second, and then rolled out to that left, threw the ball on time. Wester catches that touchdown. Nobody near him. I'm going to say this. That wasn't no Hail Mary. That was a run quick C. That was a pay. Run, run, run quick, quick C. C. <laughs> da, da, da. Yeah. La, da, 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 da. <laughs> that wasn't no Hail Mary. That run was a run quick C. <laughs> yeah, man. So, yeah, that was that was man. a heck of a play to keep that game oh, yeah. going. Oh, yeah. And then in overtime, my Heisman, like by far right now, Travis Hunter, of course it had to be Travis Hunter, makes the hit to dislodge the ball from the running back's hand before he crosses the goal line and Colorado recovers or hits the ball out the end zone. Great play to win the game. Oh, yeah. Travis Hunter doing everything. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Two touchdowns in that game. Again, you know, making the game-saving hit. Like, don't matter if it's an interception, a fumble. Wherever they need him to be, he's right on time and he shows up every time it seems. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, and that kid is, you know, he's a special yeah. football player, you know. I ain't saying he's the greatest. I ain't saying he's going to be. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's special. special. He's a special. Oh, he's yo, a special oh yeah, he's special. Sure. I, I, I'm not a point. Yeah. I love Travis. He's special. But, you know, I've been around so long. It's hard for me. I mean, you know, I'm glad for him. I'm excited. But for me to start saying, oh, this or that, I mean, he, he, he's special. Yeah. He's very yeah, special. Yeah, he's special, man. Yeah, he, you know, but, 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 but doing. All the extra. Yeah, but no, I'm, I'm just saying, during my time. I done seen Seven seventy-five special. to a hundred very special guys. Yeah, yeah. And sure. after sixty years, if I only seen a hundred, that's very special. Because, because guess what? I done seen a million. Absolutely. But I only seen a hundred, hundred fifty. And that's special. a small pool. That's a small pool. That's a small. So that's, that's, that's that's Travis, point Travis one is in that pool. Yeah. Travis is in that pool. He yeah. very special. He fun right? to watch. He he oh, is yeah. what we call it must see TV. Must see TV. Yo. You Travis better go Hunter. check it. Is must see TV, no doubt, no doubt. Next and before we ball. switch off the in in that NCAA, that was a great game, Trip. Appreciate you, bro. Oh yeah. And before we game. switch off of this, are we gonna talk about OU in uh, Tennessee? Oh uh, yeah, we can. I was just gonna mention real quick that SMU did beat Baylor to uh, win the Battle of the Iron Skillet. Yeah. Oh yeah. They SMU did. They did. Sixty-six uh, to forty-two. They beat TCU. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sixty-six yeah. to forty-two. Yep. Yep. Okay. B town. We be down here. I Maybe want to uh, talk real quick about. Uh, Tennessee and uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, yeah. Cause I want to get, I want, I want everybody to get on the Jay McCoy watch. Yeah, Jay McCoy, number three. Yeah, play corner. Did you see the game for who? For ten? No, I didn't watch. I didn't watch that one. If you saw the game, you would have saw Jay McCoy for Oklahoma, or Tennessee. For uh, Tennessee, he plays. He plays left corner on the defense for the defense, right on the offense. He plays okay. on this side. Oh wow! Do ball down. He from. He from uh, what is it? White Hall. Yeah. He from he from White Hall, Texas. That's a that's a that's a friend. White, of, White House. Yeah, White House. White oh, that's, House. That's what Pat Mahomes. Yeah, 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 yeah. From the same place, Pat Mahomes, and uh, he's a he's a he's a very special kid. Yeah, he balled out. Yeah, he so he, out. he playing both sides of the ball too. Uh, he said he have earlier. Yeah, he did, but he didn't against Oklahoma. Yeah, but uh, name is uh, Jay McCoy, and uh, he's looking like one well, of the top. What, what did he do to catch your attention in that game? Uh, did a little, uh, he didn't intercept the ball. But he defended every ball mm. that uh yeah they they uh throw the short ball he came up he stuck his uh he stuck his hand in between the receiver's arm and body and knocked the ball out and then slammed the receiver yeah to the uh to the to the uh, court then they went deep at him a couple of times and he was one time he was running stride for stride with the receiver knocked the ball down and when he went to the sideline. The camera was still on him, so you know he had been playing good. So that's Nobody the that's the rare the, the rare true lockdown. Yeah, and he's about right six there. one or two yeah. playing playing DB, and he's so be on the Jay McCoy watch number three. Jay McCoy Tennessee. number three for Tennessee. Now they, they got they got they got two McCoys and they got two number threes, but the 
Number three to start at left corner on the defense. And he, he's looking like one of the better cornerbacks in the SEC. Man. So, hey. And if you're a better cornerback in the SEC, you doing you something. know where you're headed. You're doing you know, what I Absolutely. Mean, and, and when I seen him play, that's what he looked he like. Stuck he's out got that potential. On, on tape. Oh, oh, he stuck out on stuck out on tape. Yeah, Jay it. McCoy, and that's one of my friends' nephew from uh, White House, Texas. That's what's up. White House, Texas, home of Pat Mahomes, man. Hey, they hey, they can put out some pro prospects, some pro guys every oh, day, yeah. man. Every you know, down there, that right. White House is around Tatum and Marshall, and all. Yeah. Man, they got some good athletes down oh, there. Oh yeah. Oh, no, yeah. you got a cousin down there that play pro ball. Yeah. Your mom probably told you. Carnac area. Yeah, right? Leah. Leah, uh, Leah, Leah with Tom. Leah with that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Leah with Tom. That's it. That's it. All right on, right on. We're going to keep this thing moving, man. Y'all look out for that cat. Tennessee, Oklahoma. Y'all took that L this week. It's all good. WNBA News. Aja Wilson. Asia Wilson. When I got that MVP. Like she should have. Like she should have. And Kaylin Clark, unanimously. When I got that rookie of the year. Like she should have. Like she should have. So... Everything All happened the like us, everybody talking what they talking about, man. Hey, and I still say, you know. They don't have nothing to talk about, man. They, they trying to make up something to talk about. I'm just saying she should have been on the Olympic team. That's all I'm saying. And I, that's all I'm saying. And that's all I'm saying. Sometimes you got to have foresight when they selling that many tickets, making a name for the league, and they can ball. That's for the league, not for the Olympics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. But it's for the Olympics. Like we want to make this a worldwide brand, don't we? Like the NBA, we want people in China. We want we want uh Anta to go sign some WNBA players. Yeah, absolutely. you know they already have. have they they? Already, I mean, I'm you know, just, just saying like, we we, we, just we like, want that uh, kind Brenda of Griner go. No, the only reason that we know Brenda Griner went to Russia is because she got in trouble. Yes, yeah, other than that, you got all kind of WNBA players go overseas every yeah, year. Yeah, going Cause, overseas because that's saying, where the real money is. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. how do we get that money back here and and, and uh, point it in the WNBA's direction? Because that's what they want. Oh, These yeah. WNBA players want to get paid, and, and the fact yeah. that y'all just didn't like the the. the all that other stuff y'all talking about, Cheryl Swoops, all y'all other haters out there, and I'm going to call you out, man, because it's blatantly obvious why you're hating on the young lady. If she was black, man, everybody be going crazy about Caitlin Clark right now, and I'm going to just say it like that. That's all I'm going to say. But she not, you know? And, and what I appreciate about it is it, just that. You know, she ain't stereotypical. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, like, she is cold-blooded, and she killing everybody that's step in front of her. Oh, Black, yeah. white, Hispanic, it don't matter. She killing everybody to come in front of her. She didn't have a good first playoff game. That's why I compared her to Baker Mayfield the other day. We ain't seen what she can do in the, in the playoffs yet. Y'all want to, you know, I ain't saying that she's Asia Wilson, but I'm saying the impact she brings to this game from a financial standpoint as well as production for her team and what she's doing for her team that had 13 wins last year and now they're in the playoffs doing what they're doing. They ain't seen a playoff game in a minute, man. She's she different. She's special. Caitlin yeah. Clark is exactly what the WNBA needed. And despite what y'all might be saying now that she's first team all WNBA and she's rookie of the year, despite what y'all saying now, y'all was hating on the young woman, period. A lot of y'all for the wrong reasons. But if you was actually looking at her game, she'd have been on that, on, on that Olympic team is all I got to say. That's all mm. I got to say. At that particular point. Now, at the end, you can say that, but at that particular point, I would say no. What you mean? Because we didn't know. We didn't know she was going to be rookie of the year. We didn't know all this. You didn't have to know all that about Diana Taraji for her to be on the, on, the, on the NBA team, on the Olympic team. Did, we saw enough from her but at this that is point. The, but this is the thing. When Diana Taraji came, they, they didn't have the caliber of players that they got on the team now. Regardless. That's all I'm saying. Even at that point it. in the league, it was some cast that was on the team that hadn't played a game yet in the WNBA that was on the Olympic team. You know what I'm saying? And I understand camaraderie and all this other stuff, but don't start treating her a certain way just because she got all the shine right now and bringing all the pub to the league. Y'all, they, she was getting treated a certain way because of who she was and what she brought to the table and how much pub she was getting. If she came on in is the, the same way Diana Taurasi did, when when more of the attention was on Gino Ariema versus Diana Taurasi, you know what I'm saying? Because Di- Taurasi wasn't wouldn't know. And I say Diana Taurasi ain't got nothing against her. I love her. She's a great player. She did a lot for the league as well. But she ain't Caitlin Clark. I don't care how many national championships she won. She ain't Caitlin Clark from an impact standpoint on the WNBA. So they penalized her for who she was. Well, That's all know, I'm saying. Everything is different now than when than, than 15 years ago. Yeah, it's softer now. Another reason why yeah. Caitlin Clark should have been there. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying 
the media, the attention, social media, and all that is way larger than it was then. You know, and, I, and I'm going to say it like this. Like you say, Donna Taurasi is not Kayla Clark. Kayla Clark ain't Donna Taurasi either. For sure. For sure. Yeah, neither one of them is each other. But, hey. Neither one of them is each other. And all I'm saying is. Right. Donna Tarazzi would want to be Caitlin Clark right now. As much press as she getting. You know, as I'm much money as she getting. Much, exactly, money. all that. Oh, That's oh, what yeah. I mean by press. Yeah. Oh, oh, press yeah. dollars, yeah. press media coverage. Yeah, absolutely. Magic also <laughs> probably wish he yeah. was Steph Curry. Yeah. All the money Steph Curry getting, not to. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I'm That's just saying. That's a fact. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Man, we got we on limited. Time. I got like five minutes left. Huh? I got a minute okay. two fifteen. So okay. we ride, right, we riding right. through this thing, man. So Shohei Otani's been going berserk in baseball, man. First fifty fifty player ever, man. Shout out to Shohei Otani, what he's doing right now. Dodgers look unstoppable. Fifty homers, fifty homers, fifty steals, and he got oh. 52, 53. Like he's working his way up. Oh, like okay. he, I didn't think he'd get there he by the end 50, of the season. Guy? Ever, oh, okay. ever. Okay, it was, it's been forty mm-hmm. forty guys. Not many of them. That's a short list. But he is the first 50-50 guy. Now, Ronald yeah. Acuna, he was a 70-40 guy. 70 steals, 40 home runs. And uh, Barry Bonds, I think he's 70-30. I don't know, 70 home runs, 30 you steals. You said who's 70-40? Ronald Acuna for the Atlanta Braves. Young buck. He's still in his young 20s. You got 70 homers? No, 70 steals and oh, 40 oh, homers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, okay. he's a I'm special a, cat. Okay, okay. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, nah, okay. Not 70 homers. Right, okay. No, nah, that cat. No, nah, he ain't doing that. He ain't doing that. That'd be very special if he could do that. But uh, shout out O's Hale Tiny and the, and the LA Dodgers, man. He's worth every penny that y'all sent to him and paid the man. And we're going to skip on to Anthony Joshua. Got knocked up. Nah. Boy. Yes, Boy, and you he know got the, it. He got the b- brakes. Say, man, Dubois. Say, man, I'm going to tell you like this. He made Anthony Joshua look like they was in two different categories. Look like man. Francis and Ganu. Hey, hey. Now, this is what I'm going to say about that. No, nah, this is what I'm going to say. He almost made him look like Earl Spence, man. Man, hey. He made him look disoriented. And he looked, didn't like he didn't know what the hell he was doing. But this is the thing. It's a, it's a difference. So, Anthony Joshua been working with this Ben Peterson, whatever his name is. Yeah. This new cat. When he was fighting with Derek, he was defensively responsible. Hands was up, throwing straight shots in bunches. Right? He was boxing. This new cat that he's training with, got his filled his head up. He's infatuated with his power. And told AJ he don't got to worry about boxing. He can use his physical presence and that'll be enough. When no. they got him knocked out. AJ, if you listening, bro, which is, you know, I, I got belief. Everybody else watching on the slick. Ed and Joshua, go back to Derrick, bro. It's evident, bro, what was going on. You, you, had, you had, you know, your last few fights, you had a little bit of residue left from Derrick's training mixed in with what you had going on. And, 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 and bro, like, I got I got intel, you know. I know you calling Derek, you know, prior to your fights, like really close to fight time. Like really close to fight time. <laughs> Why you calling Derek, bro, if you ain't working with him, bro? You know he's the truth. You know he got you right. You know these dudes are feeling you over BS. They feel this dude has sold you a bill of goods, bro. He sold you a wolf ticket. Got you in there looking Ben beyond. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He Can't get bad. up. He look bad. Look bad. Got knocked down like should have been three knockdowns, but the ref saved you the bell for one of them. Should have been four. four. So you been with his hand touched. That's all. Yeah, it should have been, yeah. been four. Yeah, yeah should have been, been four. four. Bro, like yeah. you just being irresponsible. You ain't, bro. You fighting other heavyweights, right? The dude in there looking at the video, got showing you film, ain't in there boxing, dog, and he hadn't been in there boxing, bro. So if I were you, bro. To me, his hands look slow, his chin look weak. You know, it's just a lot of different. If I was you, bro, I'd get back to it. And that's a 40 minute phone call last night. Yeah. I'd get back to it and go holler at Derek, bro. Oh, you had Derek talking last night, 40 minutes. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I was you, I'd get back on the, on the horn and, and, and lick my wounds and draw my pride and go back to the trainer that knew what he's doing versus the guy that came in and sold you a wolf ticket, bro. Why would you do that, bro? Why would you do that, dog? That's all I got to say, man, but you know, it's all good, man. You you, you, you got it. That was supposed to happen. That's all I'm gonna yeah. say. For whatever reason, that knockout was supposed to happen. 
And you know, uh, you know why it was four albums? Because it did. Because it did. Because it did. Because it, 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 it did happen. So, so lick your wounds, drop your pride, dog, and go back to a real trainer, a real teacher, not somebody that's just going to sell you a wolf ticket and tell you he's been looking at the videos and analy- a- analytics you to death. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro. Do what you, you got to do, man. You got to get, get in there. Boxing jail. And hone your skills. You are a cerebral young man, so you know use those smarts, bro, and go yeah. back to your to your trainer, right? And 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 not the salesperson, right? That's all I got to tell you about that. But uh, with that being said, oh, you know what time it is? So, oh, in my opinion, I am. Oh. Tell me about your opinion, huh? This don't have nothing to do with sports. Yeah, this got something to do with everyday life. Yeah. In my opinion, tipping is out of hand. Tipping? Tipping. Yeah, it keep going up. 10, 10% used to be good, didn't it? Then it went up to 20? No, no. They charge you gratuity for your table, and then when you and then I'm good with places, 20, though. I'm good uh, with 20, but yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm but then, in. But then this is, no, 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 no. When you have more than two people, they're going to automatically charge you grat- gratuity. Yeah, and yeah. And then... You know, they got these things that they come to the table, you stick your card in. Yeah. And then when you stick your card in and say, how much do you want to tip? I said, I thought gratuity was the was tip. tip. See, and this is what I want to explain <laughs> to people. Do you know what the uh, tips mean? Do you know what the T-I-P-S mean? What does that mean? To ensure proper service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you understand that these 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 service folks are See, in the but, street are not But then when you do the research... Dollar. Then when you do the research on tips, you know how tips used to work? Like when I go to eat, I would take 10 or $15 and lay it on the table. And every time they mess up, I would take a dollar away. That's the way, do the, do the research. That's the way tips started. And that's the way you're going to ensure proper service. Because if you want this $15, you're going to come look me in my eye. You're going to smile in my face. Yeah. You're going to ask me what I want. Yeah. But this is how I you know work for it. But you know, this is how I know tipping is out of control. I get in my car, drive two places, go pick up something to eat, stick my card in there, and it says, how much tip do I want to leave? Yeah. Wait a minute. I can't pick it up myself. I'm not getting any service, so why am I tipping? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, you, you know, and then... We, uh, you know, we call that entitled. We got And then entitled this is folks. the thing. Like I say, what really gets me is the places that want you to pay gratuity and a tip. Yeah. I'm saying, what the... You know, and tipping is out of control because you see on the thing, do you want to tip 10%, 15 20 or 30 I'm like, wait a minute, 30%? Yeah. yeah it's, it, like, where, where'd that come from? Like I said, it used to be 10%. I'm cool yeah. with 20%. Yeah, I'm cool with 15 I, I, like, I, I appreciate 20%. Yeah. But, but anything beyond that, bro, I feel like, hey, you need to go ask your manager. But this is the whole thing. If I tip you 20%, yeah. or 25 I even... I need you to smile in my face, come to my table, ask me, do I need something? Yeah. Three or four. Don't just don't just break my food, and then I see you at the end of the night, and then now you think you want a 20% tip. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, man. Tipping is out of control. Yeah, it is. And that's just my opinion. Tip drill. I want a tip. Hey, they, they working for theirs. Yeah, hey. As long as you work for it. Because if you come smile in my face and run over to my table, you know what? I might give you 40%. Yep. Yeah, but you got to earn it. Exactly. You just uh, you don't feel it's, it's not entitlement. Yeah, it's exactly. Not entitlement I, I can't stand entitlement, man. No, no, no. I don't don't expect it. nothing from me if you ain't giving no good service, bro. You might, I might, I might pay you. You might, you might cover five dollars on my bill. You know, I might. I'm, if it's fifty seven, I might pay you fifty two, dog. If I get bad service, <laughs> you gonna have to cover that, player. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> 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 no, I ain't never done that before. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But hey, that's 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 a good idea. But uh, I love it, huh? That's, that's a great that's a great opinion to have right now and to share with the folks, man. So, in my opinion, I'm going to just talk about it, you know. And I, I share it every week, but I'm going to harp on it right now since you can't rebut. Dak Prescott is absolute trash. <laughs> Glorified Tim Tebow. He won number 15 in college for a reason, just like Tebow. My boy know he can't throw. Go back to what, second year, first year in the NFL when he was on television having an accuracy contest on, on television with uh, David Carr. Not even Derek, not the young buck, the older brother that's retired. David still had it. 
in the accuracy contest. Dak has not grown a lick since he's been in the NFL. Still stares dudes down. Throws the ball way too late. Patting on the ball. I, I got to start doing this stuff in IMO so I can't say nothing. I love it. <laughs> and, and, and don't have his legs no more. And I believe he is the primary reason the Dallas Cowboys won't have a good season. I don't feel that this team has any faith in him anymore. I know his defense isn't up to par right now. But, again, my expectations were low for them because they got a new D.C. I don't can't take no excuses, but I am, and it's IMO for me right now. I'll give them a year to get their stuff under wraps, but Dak has been here for seven. He should have the offense down. He should be able to know what defenses look like and how defenses attack him. There should be nothing new under the sun that Dak sees, and he still can't make the adjustments. So in my opinion, Dak, you are hot trash, bro. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> what, did, what did Trip say? That last thing Trip said? Oh, what did he say? He said it's a little echo. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know. Well, we almost off trip. Uh, you know, this uh, this technology and then right now, the, uh, you know, we're on the internet, all this stuff in the air and the wind is blowing, it's high, and I don't know, tell you what line to be jumping on. Yeah, but man. we appreciate you definitely, so much, Definitely trip, appreciate man. the trip. Absolutely. Every week, man, it's going down, man. It's going down. Got another good week of fantasy football going on, but, uh, but yeah, man, I definitely appreciate y'all. Uh, another excellent <laughs> week at Noonish, man. Hey, we'll be back next week. We're going to have a watch party at some point in time this weekend. So y'all stay tuned in. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button first before you hit that notification bell. You can't do one before the other. But uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll be back next week, man. CY's off the chain. First lady F1. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. If not sooner. Welcome to a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay a aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech.